Wait for it. Wait for it. We are now live. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Doom 3, a rise to the top series. I hope you guys are hyped about this one, because I know for one, I sure am. Um, I mean, just listen to the soundtrack on the opening of the game. Even if the game sucks, it still has the amazing music. But no, this is gonna be awesome. I've heard so many different contrarian opinions about Doom 3, it's a very polarizing game. There's this camp over here who's like, oh, you know, it's amazing, it was so cool for what it was trying to do at the time. It's, you know, it's a, it's a hated game, but it's got some good to it. It's just not really like classic Doom. It's totally different. You have to go into it with that mindset. And then you have the other camp, which is like, oh, Doom 3 sucks. It's the black sheep of the series. You should just skip it. We don't want that. We don't want no Doom 3, right? And then you have most people, which are somewhere in the middle. So I, I really don't know what to expect with this. From what I've seen, it looks pretty cool. Looks like something I'd enjoy. And it also looks pretty scary. So we're in for quite the uh, quite the fun ride today, everyone. So yeah, I hope you all are having a good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Welcome Tricky Bear. Welcome Steve Gohome. Welcome Starlight. It is good to see you all. What are your guys' opinions on Doom 3? Mine, I am very open-minded about it. I am not going to draw an opinion until I've played through it. So, a little bit of info about what I'm running. I am playing the classic version of Doom 3 uh, with the latest patch, which I think is 1.31. Uh, I have the Resurrection of Evil DLC, or expansion. Um, I am running this in a source port called... Uh, D-H-E-W-M-3, Doom 3. It's linked down below if you guys want to check it out. All right, also, I'm going to be starting the game on the hardest possible difficulty, which is veteran. So, let's get started. Anyway, Steve Gillum says, It's a good game, but not the best game, as they tried to follow trends and lost some of the Doom identity. What I have heard about Doom 3 is that they were trying to copy the most successful first-person shooter at the time, which was Half-Life. So we'll probably see some inspiration of that. I haven't played Half-Life, so regrettably, some of that will be lost on me. But that's okay. Anyway, Mr. Obsolete! Welcome to the stream, sir. Finally, best Doom game. Also, why not the BFG edition for achievements? So let me explain to you what's going down, Mr. Obsolete. I'm going to do a single playthrough of Doom 3. It's going to be like my first introduction, a blind playthrough of Doom 3 with the original version and the Resurrection of Evil DLC. Now, the reason I've chosen to play the original version is because of some of the changes that they made with the remaster, the BFG edition. Uh, but, after I have played Doom 3 for a first time, I will be going and back and completing it, as I do, and I will be doing that via the BFG edition and getting the achievements. So, and we'll be doing mods for both, depending on what kind of content I can find that I think would be interesting to cover. So yeah, thank you for the question. All right, anyway, Doom 3 never scared me, but I still had a good time. Really? Okay. Uh, it's definitely the black sheep of the series, lol, and a nice break from classic Doom with its slower combat before playing Doom 2016 and the classic with its more action focus. Sounds good. All right, thank you guys, by the way, for 16 likes. I'm glad to see everyone's excited for this series. All right, let's get started. Here we go. This also has cutscenes, voice acting, so that's kind of cool. Um, I, for one, like historian games. So, um, on the other hand, I've seen the Doom movie. Okay, here we go. Also, this was like a new software engine. And it was very demanding on hardware at the time. Modern standard. The Union really Aerospace not that. Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Nice. So the UAC is shady because they're big and powerful. Makes sense. Traffic, of course, we already knew that traffic monitoring station. This is cool. So, like, low key, I know there's. Approach, Star, with U 07063, passing through 38, I know there's a. Roger that, 
Down. Radar wink established. Destination cleared. Sir, they'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. Oh, See that's so cool. The swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Nice. So, something else I should mention, in the original version of this, they didn't have native widescreen support. Oh man, I, this the graphics look really good. This came out in 2004, right? I think that's right. Or maybe it was 2002. I'll have to look it up. Oh, I'll shut up. Kruger's gonna start doing things their way. I wonder who Kruger is. Kruger, that sounds like a nice evil name. Oh, I can play now! Oh, cool! Anyway, guys, yeah, we're running this on the Doom 3 source port, uh, which add in some nice quality of life improvements, like native widescreen, which the game didn't originally have. Um, fixes up some of the blurrier textures that didn't upscale well, etc. So, it's really nice. Um, runs good. From what I've heard, it was the one Steve Go Home recommended to me, so big thank you to him. Artem Orekov, welcome. Plasma X, welcome to you as well, sir. Doom 3, yes, sir. The movie took more of its elements from Doom 3. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway. Steve says, no, nah, that's Doom RPG 2 with its water gun you can kill enemies with. Really? I played Doom 3 the first time when I was about 7 or 8 years old. Wow. Also, this aged so well with Doom 3 being upgraded to include Resident of, uh, of Evil 3 and or Resident Evil and BFG Edition. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Artem. The thing on Steam, I actually have a video coming out about that later tonight. I already record it, just need to edit it. Doom Upcoming, welcome 2004. Okay, same year as San Andreas. So many good games came out in 2004. Well, well, I'm presupposing this is good, aren't I? From Actually, some people said it's bad. Well, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out together. Um, anyway. Yeah, August 3rd, 2004. Okay, cool. Jack Eugen says hello to you all. What's good, Jack? Welcome to the stream, man. Yoshi, good to see you, dude. Doom 3, yeah? Look, I'm gonna be honest. I don't understand why so many of you were hyped for this one. Is it just because it gets them closer to Doom 4? Enable subtitles if they exist. Subtitles. I'm glad you said that, dude. Do I have, is that a thing? Free look, yes. Invert mouse, no. Why would you want that? Reload. Um, I don't see anything about subtitles. But I would like some subtitles. Screen size, brightness. <clears throat> you know, subtitles seems like something you would include in a in a source port, don't it? Huh. Well, no subtitles, sadly, at least not as far as I can tell. So, uh, oh well. What's up, man? Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. Okay. Uh, when you approach a character that may have something to say, the cursor changes and their name appears. Use the fire button to interact with the character. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. I gotta process the cargo log. I can't talk with you now. If I don't get this log to central authority, it'll be my neck. Please move along. I gotta process the cargo log. I can't talk with you now. <laughs> What's this? Cargo list. When you approach an interactive computer interface, your weapon, if equipped, will lower, and you can use the fire button to interact with the computer. Cool. Okay. Uh, cargo inbound, outbound. Uh, anyway, what you were saying, Yoshi, it might, it might be some people or just wanted to see me get closer to playing Doom 4. Might be some people wanted to see me actually play Doom 3. I was looking forward to it because it was kind of a different new thing. Um, first time I played Doom 3 was a demo disc for the original Xbox. Mr. Obsolete says, no, there's a mod for subtitles. Okay. Is it compatible with the source port by any chance? So, anyway, a lot of great games came the year before, Jack. That's true. They did. Others got canceled. Yeah. I didn't know Doom 4 was a thing. Doom 2016 is Doom 4 Plasma. So, this really feels like Half-Life 1, does it? All right, so, metal seal containers, small GS crates, large GS crate. Administrative supplies, data storage, inbound, transfer bins, your own military issue. Should I care about any of this? Just, it's just a cargo thing. 
Schematics, okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I guess let's just go to reception. Wait, does this have secrets? Uh, info, new transfers must report to the... Re Sure, no problem. What? I'm getting off this rock, and you should too. Why? M. Casey on here. Watch your back. Well, that's that's a little creepy. Outbound cargo with still tons of containers. What is your deal, dude? What happens if I punch him? Here. Oh, I can't punch him. Watch, your back. Watch my back. Trust no one. Okay. Wait a minute. What's downstairs? I want to see what's downstairs. Hold up. Many objects, including boxes, crates, other items, can be moved around. Walk or run into them to push them around. Wee! Bye bye. There go the boxes. Uh. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, well, I threw some boxes down a cliff. I guess let's go to reception now. Quit fooling around. Hey, Tiff, welcome. Hi, Casting on the chat. What's good, hey, Tiff? Welcome to the stream, sir. For me, Doom Upcoming, welcome. For me, Doom 3 is a really, or I'm sorry, Doom 3 is a good game, just not the greatest Doom game up until maybe the last third. Okay. Yoshi says, I hold the three best years of gaming to be 1998, 2004, and 2007 in that order. Interesting. Okay. Now, just for the base game and every and everything, somewhat difficult to get running nowadays. Ah, yeah, yeah, it is, well, Mr. Obsolete, which is. Oh, hey, man, what's good? I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only sure. take a second. Okay. Wait. Let me get this started. See if Doom One on his computer. That orange thing that looks like Doom One. Moving around only makes the test take longer. My bad. Look. Not All moving. Right, Bioscan looks good. You're clear Sweet. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, what's this, this creepy looking little thing? Oh, it's a robot. Welcome to Mars City. This oh, thank you. This the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological study, and military Please report to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being all employees and guests. To help Good deal. this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This wow. Means restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware. It looks like the guy from outside. Are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC security guard. They are here to help no matter how large or small the problem is. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like, uh, like the stuff they said back during, like, 9-11, the whole, if you see something, tell someone. Which is very similar. Oh, crap! Face Paradise, just subscribe. Welcome to the community, Face Paradise. Oh, man. Anyway, yeah, welcome to the introduction, which it rips off the opening chapter of Half-Life 1. <gasps> Anyway, although Doom 3 might be my least favorite among the Doom games, I am still hyped for this. Nice, point to see Kess being jump scared. Yeah, I guess that had to happen. So I can't go in here. You can obtain many locked doors with your PDA or an authentic ACO card. Or key card. Your PDA may also contain security access codes to access storage cabinets, so make sure and peruse each PDA. Quick to scan ACO access card, you in aerospace... Mars City Compound. No card found. I don't have a card. Okay, some interactive computers allow you to download information to your PDA. Just click the download or transfer button. You need to get your PDA from the receptionist before you can try this. Oh, okay. No information terminal. Uh, November Safety Awareness Month on Mars. Safety Awareness Month? Wow. And the UAC has scheduled a variety of workshops, of course they have, to help promote a safer work environment for everyone. Download now to learn more about what you can do. So I'm curious, what am I doing here? Like, what's my backstory? I guess I'm gonna find out. Uh, I want a soda. Can I get a a Robo Cola? Robo Cola. You know what? Actually, I'm good. Oh. Welcome to Mars. First what's time. up, man? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. I'm a silent protagonist, okay. aren't I? There's a few mm. things we need to take care of first. This good looking, is though. your personal data assistant. 
You'll need this to access nice. all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the sign. Uh, your PDA is critical to your work at the UAC. Toggle your PDA with the assigned keybind, which is tabbed by default, so it's probably like the map overlay. Uh, your PDA contains your security clearance, personal email, audio logs, video discs, and wow, it's gonna be a lot of collectibles, and other important inventory and mission information. When you pick up another UAC worker's PDA, their information is downloaded directly to your PDA. That, is, that sounds like a security hazard. Mm -mm -mm, UAC, you think you do better than that. Uh, simply click on a name and navigate the windows access through the data, email, and video disc buttons in the upper left portion of the screen to gain valuable information about your surroundings. UAC employees store vital information on their PDAs that can be used to unlock the secrets of the facility. Secrets. Do we note it? Uh, this information includes embedded security access, storage locker codes, and personal information relayed through audio logs and email. I guess I must be a security consultant. That's the only way this makes sense. Quick to continue, let's do it. Uh, current mission objectives, perform all your duties in a military manner. Oh, okay. Biometric ID, my name is player. That's a little insulting. Departure lounge is where I'm at. Marine security is my rank. Security clearance is Marine HQ. Uh, personnel, okay, user email. Director W. Banks, welcome message. Oh, this will explain it. 2145. This is like 120 years in the future. In November, no less. <laughs> oh, man, the lighting in Doom 3 is amazing. Yeah, so this was like a brand new engine they were showing off. And like at the time, this was super demanding and tough to run. So Doom 3 had excellent lighting up against Half-Life 2, which had far superior texture quality and revolutionary facial animation. Doom 3's textures aren't bad by any means. Richly detailed, but blurry. Uh, yeah, the checking PDA to get locker codes was something I didn't enjoy. I know those aren't necessary to beat the game, but my completionist OCD made me get... made me go through all those. Yeah. You and me both, hey, Tiff. <laughs> UAC stands for Unused Air Conditioner. <laughs> go to Multiplayer Settings to change your name. Oh, okay. Good deal. Doom 3 uses id Tech 4. Right. Right, exactly. Popped up with that at the beginning of the game. Tyler Wolford says, what's up, Cass? What's good, Tyler? Welcome to the stream. We're playing some Doom 3. Anyway, let's read our welcome message. Uh, welcome to Mars Marine. I would like to take a brief moment of your time and welcome you to what we call our home away from home. We will make effort to make your stay here as pleasant as possible. And if you need something, feel free, bleh, please feel free to contact your, su your supervisor for immediate assistance. I hope that you can find the time to take advantage of some of our great staff amenities. As a reminder, we engage in technical, highly secure testing and research here. Please refrain from wandering into unauthorized areas. Any security team member will assist you if help is needed. Sincerely, Director William Banks. Okay. Sergeant Kelly, report to Marine HQ. Uh, Marine, report to Marine Command as soon as possible. Don't waste any time getting here. We're shoring troops. I need you out in patrol as soon as possible. Sergeant Kelly. So I'm a soldier. That makes sense. Okay, video discs or a mercenary or something. Uh, Marine Command briefing? Standard operating procedure Mars. Welcome Let's to do Mars, it. Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant ah, Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned this looks areas. like Wolfenstein. Be sure that looks like Wolfenstein. Any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. <laughs> Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these Makes procedures sense. is paramount to your success here on Mars. 
Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. So, Stay does UA see and good like have your new assignment? Does UAC like have its own private security, I guess? That's really interesting. All right, new objective, speak with Sergeant Kelly in Marine Command HQ. Uh, sure, I will absolutely do that, but first, let's go back through here and download this information from this terminal. There we go, new email. Okay. Uh, tab. Uh, new email, okay. From the Safety Committee, Safety Awareness Month. Safety is critical to everything we do on Mars. We will review all standard safety protocols during the month of November, Safety Awareness Month. It's mandatory that you schedule time to attend each of these valuable workshops. Prosma, proper plasma handling, review of the proper storage of plasma, how to handle plasma links, and the best ways to treat plasma burns. Boring! Uh, emergency first aid. Learn the location and correct use for all of the health packs placed throughout the facility. Special attention will be given to waste prevention methods. Health resources are squandered if a large pack is used when only a small pack is needed. Wow, ATF! ATF, did you write this? Did you write this, ATF? Uh, okay. Your name is John Doom. You speak only in umphs, grunts, and screams. Ah. Uh, how many games use the id tech? Four engine. I don't know. I don't even remember Prey, which is from 2006, Doom 3, and Quake 4. Huh. I'll have to look that up uh, sometime and see. There's probably a Wikipedia page on it, I'll bet you. Uh, Doom 3 horror game. What's up, Starbuck? Welcome. Yeah, I've heard it's uh, pretty scary. Definitely has a dark atmosphere. Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, storage weapons and ammo. Special lecture on the safe storage of weapons and ammo. Fred Nilsson will be giving a hands on lesson in proper targeting and strafing. Emergency loss of environment. This lecture will focus on what to do if you are faced with an air leak, structural failure, or airlock failure. Special care will be paid to the locations of emergency air tanks. See postings outside UAC HR for times locations. I don't want to do this! Ah! Fine. What's, what's over here? Uh, arrivals, next departure... Okay. Can I go in here? Area locked. No card found. Okay. Can't restricted access, restricted access. All right, so can't really explore too much right now. What about in here? Oh, UAC. Code black, missing staff? UAC security is looking for a missing scientist. We need your help to ensure he is found quickly and safely. Please report any information to your appointed HR manager. Data sent to PDA, okay. Is it the guy we met outside who was whispering to me? I'll bet you it is. UAC security. Dr. Jonathan Ishii from the Delta Science team is missing. No, maybe it's someone who got captured. Your security is concerned he may be injured or unable to respond to pages or return to his post. Please keep an eye out for him and report security if he's located. His last seen in Mars City Underground approaching the airlock, leading to the old communications array. Huh. Oh, the footsteps kind of scared me. What's up, man? I haven't seen you before. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. That would be me, yes. Is there some type of problem? I'm just trying to get my work done here. Oh no, man, do your thing. Do your thing. I'm sorry for bothering you. All right. I'm here What's... Because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind my... you of the groundbreaking my work sergeant? That we're doing here? No. Oh, you're creepy. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruga, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. We got a little tension going on, okay. All right then, uh, well, that's a little, ooh, level one, Mars City, Monorail Station. Can I open this? Incorrect security clearance, access denied. Wow, 
What's up, man? Okay, that's what I'll do. Marine Command, that would be this way. Anything else I can download? Oh, look at the lights, man. The lights are cool. This really is a good looking game. Like for 2004 standards, right? What's up, man? I don't man? think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Well, that's a little, okay. Isn't this the bathroom? Yeah, this is the bathroom, okay. Um. All right, hey, hey, hey. Everyone look away. Gotta, gotta do my bit, okay. <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, let's go back outside. Uh, general access, okay. Yeah, so those suits arrived too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, tell me, just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. Fine. You don't but think they're accidents? What's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Oh, uh, they're doing some no secret. One saw him go. Was he one minute? On the next? Lucky bastard. Wow. Mr. Obsolete is also Wolfenstein 2009. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, Cash, you get two guesses who the main antagonist is. Uh, the scientist, probably? <laughs> or... Wait, two guesses. Oh, there's two people. Well, I don't think it's my sergeant, but maybe it is. Maybe they're both in cahoots. I don't know. Right around the corner. Why don't you go bother someone there? Wow, rude. I'm really trying to get this fixed quickly, so, uh, do you mind? You know, you guys just act like everyone does in real life. You suck. Uh, volunteer for extra credits. Exciting volunteer positions are available. Well, I want to download that. Credit compensation offered for qualified individual. Oh, oh. I want to go in the computer room here and mess around. No card found. Wow. I don't have an ACO Attention. card, so. Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management Office for Alpha. report to Sergeant Kelly ASAP. He's in Command HQ. Okay. Don't waste any more time. Go see the Sarge. Wow, everybody. I'm just Mr. Popular. We would like to request another security team here at Delta. Yes, sir. Delta again? What is, what is up with Delta? All right, anyway, if Rockstar Games bought Doom, that wouldn't make any sense, man. Bethesda owns Doom. Actually, technically, Microsoft owns it now, I guess, don't they? Anyway, amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait, indeed. Yeah, we're always setting it up, isn't it? Honestly, I really love Doom 3. Hey, Anonymous Entity, that's cool, man. Even trying a VR mod for it. Yeah, Tricky Bear played VR with it, I believe. Guess he's gonna miss Super Turbo Turkey Punch 3. Wait, what's that? I wanna play Super Turbo Turkey Punch 3. How do you do that? I like how when you get your pistol, you can kill every NPC and get no consequences. Wait, really? I only played this game in PSVR. Oh, okay. Chris Espinoza, welcome. Do you have any cats? Yes, I do. Uh, one boy cat named Tommy. And yes, he is naughty. <laughs> Very often. What's up, man? Don't you have some orders you need to be following? Yeah, yeah, don't remind me. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it off. I'm trying to this little guy. I can't talk now. Okay, well, everybody's busy. Can I play the turkey game over here? Apparently not. Wait, what's back here? Oh, that's cool. Welcome to the unit. I'll see you around. Thanks, man. See? Finally somebody who's nice. Oh, what the hell? What happened to that guy? Wait, why are you walking away? I, what? What? Dude. I can't be interrupted now. I've got bro, bro. Bro, what the hell they do to this guy? Oh, man. Ah. Oh, he's still wiggling, too. Hey. I can't go in, really? Oh, it's... Oh, infirmary. Oh. Maybe he got sick over in Delta. I'll bet you that's what happened. Okay, let's quit fooling around. Let's go in here and get our orders. All right, well, I am soaking up all the atmosphere. Took a sweet time, Marine. Sorry, now, I was looking around. Here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard you might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. 
Hope you followed the sentry better than you followed orders so far. Wow! A security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do He's a jerk. Now move out. All right, report to me. Okay, maintenance entrance. Follow the sentry bot to the elevator that leads to the lower maintenance levels. So, out of curiosity, Code Black missing staff. Dr. Jonathan Ishii from the Delta Science team is missing. I read that already. Volunteer to earn extra credits. Delta Labs is looking for individuals to fill critical positions. You can help with our exciting breakthrough work and earn credits at the same time. Volunteers needed the following areas testing, right? Teleportation while looking for test subjects to stress test the new teleporters. Experience tomorrow's travel technology a day. Medical research. Our advanced pharmaceutical team needs volunteers to participate in exciting medical studies. Help us find cures to everything from the common cold to Ebola 7. Ooh. Specimen handling. We need volunteers to help handle and track the specimens gathered through Delta Labs experiments. Health test and liability waiver will be required. So... I'm guessing, based on everything I'm seeing here, that uh, what's going on is they're doing some stuff they're not supposed to, and it's going horribly, horribly wrong, and this sentry bot really wants me to get going. Okay. Well, I think I see where this is going, guys. Oh, man. There is a lunch room. Nice. I'll have to find it later. Delta Labs. Yeah. Wow, they're really advertising that hard, aren't they? He said that he saw some strange creatures or something down in Delta. He said it wasn't human. What? You can't believe anything that guy says. I'm just telling you that's what he said. I don't know if it's true. No reason I can't think to get out of here. Dang, everybody wants to leave this place. Everybody. Go into a cafeteria, go to the lunch Oh, everyone's telling me to go to the lunchroom. Okay. How do you get to the lunchroom? Do, uh, is it like on my way? That reminds me of Chicken Invaders 4 Thanksgiving Edition. How? That doesn't make any sense. Or you add too much Delta. <laughs> there you go, Steve. You get it. Man, you gotta play Super Turkey Puncher 3. You'll find it in the lunchroom. Dude, where? where's the lunchroom, though? Does it like swell? Operations Marine Command. Okay. Uh, never mind. I'm sure I'll find it via the signs. Wait, kitchen. Kitchen. Okay. There it is. There it is. Thanks, guys. Picking Corporation denied allegations today of several reports showing a growing military presence on Mars. A spokesperson stated that increased activity is simply a tactical deployment to outlying planetary sectors. Authorities People like me continue to search for the activists responsible in Monday's bombing of a biomech production facility, resulting in the destruction of hundreds of biomech labor units. In space but it's probably their competitors, right? Among Maybe is not. Reporting nine dead and twenty-eight wounded in what appears to be an ore canopy failure during routine operations. This is the fifth incident in a string of mishaps. So a lot of people are having problems now. Not just UAC. Months. Deep Space Probe Madridi successfully executed the first of four engine bursts designed to alter the probe's course, according to officials. The probe's logic core first requested the diversion following yesterday's discovery of a negative light object outside the orbit of Saturn. That is so cool! They got like, news and everything! Outer system mapping wow! Next week. Hey, Cass. Hey, Brett. What's good, man? Anomaly. Is Doom 3 on PlayStation 3? No, it's on uh, PC and Xbox. I don't think it has a PlayStation version. ...evidence of survivors in Thursday's crash. Union Aerospace, who funded the privately operated orbiter, awesome. stated that there were no survivors and the signal is part of the NAVCOM system's automated distress beacon. Critics of the massive corporation say the Europa signal is undeniably originating from one or more survivors, and the high costs of mounting a rescue operation have led to the UAC's refusal. In IPN's business news. Oh, that's not good. Uh, hold on, little buddy. I want to look around for a second. What's up, man? Ah, someone new. Just lost it. Always nice seeing new faces around here. Isn't that the guy from the circuit room? No uh, Thanks, I guess. Ooh, that burger looks good. Can I eat? Can I eat a burger? Oh, I can punch it over here. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be a mate. Here, eat this burger. H have a burger, man. I, I want to play. I want to play Super Turkey, Turbo Turkey Puncher. I gotta play this. 
I gotta get the high score on this. This is a good use of my time as a as a marine. <laughs> Doom 3 is not on PlayStation 2 because the graphics are high. It's only on Xbox. I don't think it had any. Well, no, I guess it might have actually. Does it run like crap? Half Life 2 and original Xbox is a miracle, but that runs like garbage. Wow. Okay then. Uh, I heard that Doom on Xbox. Well, I'm sure Steve knows a little bit. I watched G-Man Live's video on it. Uh, went over the differences pretty well. You can see some definite downgrades, but it doesn't look awful. Doom 3 was so detailed for a 2004 game. Almost every computer screen has readable text. I know, right? Now, to be fair, we are using a source port that is definitely fixing it up a little bit, but it, even still, it's just really good looking. Jure Nighthawk, welcome, Doom 3. Yeah, the BFG edition is on PS3. Oh yeah, you're right. I forgot about BFG edition. That's true, that's on PlayStation 3. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, uh, for a series known for the best shotguns, this game has the possibly worst shotgun of all time. I heard that. I heard the shotgun in this game was terribly bad. So, yeah, Doom 3 BFG Edition. I forgot about that. My bad. I hated the shotgun of Doom 3. It's a pump action. <laughs> it's shooting marshmallows. Wow. Boniyasi, welcome. Doom 3, huh? Yes, sir. We're doing Doom 3. Wow, 22 likes. Thanks, everybody. I need 25,000 for the high score cast. Oh, do I? Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Well, this is stupid. Oh, this is great, man. Classic Doom in arcade machine form. I love when games do this. This is always fun. So, you said 25,000? Steve, thanks for letting me know, man. 25,000, it'll be. Oh, man. The shotgun of Doom 3 is actually very powerful, but has a terrible spread. It is best used as a glorified melee weapon. Go in front of enemies and shoot at their chest. Ah, okay, so get, like, real up close and personal in order to do much damage. Shotgun is terrible. Not really, just get as close as possible to the enemy and fire it. Okay, so... It's like... It's like the equivalent of shooting at a super shotgun at enemies really far away. Except that really far away in this case is normal distance. And to compensate for that, we have to get real up close and personal, right? Makes sense. We can handle that. And we'll punch some turkeys while we're at it. Yeah, I bet that little robot and my, my sergeant are really disappointed in me. My mother said I would, I would, I would be grow into a, a better man if I went to boot camp, and I would finally mount to something. And uh, no, even now in the military, I'm still just playing video games. Yeah, big old disappointment. Oh well. Hey, I'm gonna get the high score, and that'll show them all. That'll show them all what I can really do. Flash Max, welcome. Guess where are you gonna give the roll for you know? Give the roll for, you know. I don't know. Give the roll for what? Uh, Tricky Bear says, how even when I put the shotgun at their chest, I still miss a shot or two. Really? Dang, man. Turkey Punch best game. You know, like, it was fun for, like, the first couple of minutes. It was fun. Okay, it was fun for the first 2,000 points. But it gets a little repetitive. Like you can only you can only punch so many turkeys to oblivion before you get it gets old. Shotgun here requires the shotgun here requires to be even more close and personal than the super shotgun of Doom 2. Right? Yeah. Basically, what I was trying to say. Cast ASMR punching episode punching turkeys. Oh man. It's like beef ASMR, except this is turkey ASMR. We're expanding to new meat, I guess. <laughs> There's an achievement in the BFG edition of Doom 3 for getting the high score, and you get a document in your PDA for getting it that is needed for another achievement. Oh, cool! Good to know. We'll have to uh, do this again then when we play the BFG edition. Fun. All right. 10,000, there we go. We're nearly halfway there. Wonder if there's like a way I could speed this up. Probably not. Like a faster way to punch? Oh, that was just me literally jumping. Hey, finally a Doom game where they support jumping and crouching. That's nice. 
There's an Easter egg for having a high score. Okay. Easter egg and apparently an achievement in the BFG edition. Guess what? Getting 25,000 in the BFG edition gives you an achievement. Cool. Well, let's do it there again. What I'm hearing is that to do anything resembling good damage with this game's shotgun, you have to shove it so far up an enemy's rear side that you are hitting its vital organs with every pellet. Uh, well, based on what I am hearing, Yoshi, uh, it would sound like you're correct. Okay, let's count and actually figure out how much points we get per turkey. Oh, it varies somewhat, doesn't it? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, okay, 150. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 150. 10, 20, 30. Okay, wait a minute. If you do it faster, there seems to be some sort of multiplier. See? It goes to 25 and 250. So, there is a way to speed up. You have to go really, really fast. You have to, like, spam click the mouse, guys. You gotta spam it like it's a, an auto clicker. An achievement for doing nothing but clicking for several minutes. You know what this is like? This is essentially the equivalent of that really annoying achievement from uh, Saints Row 4, where you had to lick a candy cane for, I wanna say 14 minutes. That sounds about right, yeah. You had to lick a candy cane for 14 minutes. It was so stupid. It made into a lot of those top five most annoying achievement lists that Watch Mojo and their little buddies are always doing, but. Yeah, it was, it was, it was something. It was very unsatisfying, let's put it that way. Now, hey, this is not new to me though. At, well, there was a point in time where I streamed the Doom Wad called 30,000 Doom Levels, which, if you can't tell based on the name, has 30,000 levels. And the gameplay was very similar to what we're doing here, although this is slightly better because at least the turkey is interactive with you pressing it. 30,000 Doom levels did not have quite this level of quality. Cash use an auto clicker. Plasma, it would take more time to download and set up the auto clicker than it is truly worth, my friend. It would be far easier just to do it like this. Especially since we're so close to actually being there. I wonder if that robot's finished his little burger yet. That's what I'm curious about. Guess I wonder if there's a way I could speed this up. Process to speed up. <laughs> Proceeds to speed up the video. There you go. Well, if I'm gonna get a drink, good timing. Very good timing, Yoshi. But I know for sure Kess will do it even if there was an achievement for doing this a hundred times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I will torture myself for achievements. I really don't know why. Some sort of weird completionist thing, I suppose. Oh, well. I am dedicated, if nothing else. You all remember Maximum Doom. Hey, this is, this is, to be fair, this game is about as good as Maximum Doom. And by this game, I mean Super Turbo Turkey Puncher. Boom, let's go. New email, nice. All right, what I get? Uh, oh, personnel, hold up, we got a new thing. Adam Bernici, maintenance update. Okay, general access maintenance this is tech. This audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernice, dated November 10th. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I can see why. I hate going down to the underground maintenance area. People down there are a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. <laughs> Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. 396. Okay. We need to find his locker and, and put in 396. So, I'm glad to get that. I, th the reason I was laughing it was so hard to take what he was saying seriously with that, 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 the music in the background, like, honestly. Okay, email. Wait a minute. We gotta look at our email. All right, so 396. Better not forget that. Uh, Ethan Peterson, Lost PDA. Adam, please take more caution securing your personal data assistant. It's turned up and lost and found three times this month. 
As you know, your base security clearances are stored on that and it becomes a serious security issue anytime a PDA is lost. Failure to secure a PDA could eventually result in your termination. I hope he means termination from the force and not from life. Mr. Peterson, maintenance supervisor, maintenance report needed. Oh, okay. Adam, your report is long overdue. Record an audio log for what you've done today on your maintenance shift and send it to me immediately. I need to recode the cabinet today and it is imperative that I update my master list with the new code. I do not want to tell you again how important it is to record these codes. Yeah, so this is the, uh, this is the guy who's lost that we're put in charge of looking for it. The bot's going to lead us to where he was last seen, but I want to go over this first. Uh, volunteer services. We've read that already. Okay, so 396. That's the tool thing we're going to need when we go there. What's up, guys? Another newbie. Welcome to the worst assignment you'll ever have. Oh, okay. Harsh, what's the paper say? Another replacement, huh? Is that all I am new people? IPN News Network. Okay, it's down. Oh, you need your burger! Yeah, you're not going to grow up big and strong like me with that attitude. I'm retracing my steps. Mars Delta Lab, superior firepower. Oh, man, Chicken Ward. Welcome. It's the spooky one. Yes, it is. G Killer says hi. What's up, G Killer? Welcome. Grape of Legends. Welcome to you as well, sir. Good to see you guys. Uh, that's giving Maximum Doom too much credit, Walt. Yeah. See regular email, too. I think there might be the message waiting in the turkey puncher. Oh, yeah. That's right. You're right. Forgot about that. Uh, personnel. Okay. User email. You're correct. Um, new high score from the HR coordinator. Congratulations, you set a new high score in Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. Your parents can rest easier knowing they have raised another shining example of humanity. Dude, I was making that joke. I was making that joke while I was playing it. Okay, the HR coordinator overheard me talking and put in the email just to spite me. I'm gonna go punch that dude right in the stupid face. Due to the incredible amount of time you wasted punching poor defenseless turkeys, your vacation time has been docked two days? Have a nice day. Are you, okay. All right, I'm, you know what? Screw you, you stupid little robot. Where's the HR coordinator? Where the freak is he? I swear, I'm gonna get my hand. Hey, hey, you guys seen the HR coordinator? I'd love to talk, but I'm really busy. Okay, well, you know what? You're really stupid. Hey, 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 let me in. Let me in here! I demand you get- Okay, you know what? I'll take them anyway. I don't even care. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold your horses. Okay, hey, I'm going in front. I'm- I'm the leader. Wow. Hey, ha-ha. Woo! Ha-ha-ha! Good job, idiot. Get destroyed. I'm in front. I'm in first. Loser! Yeah, now you can't get past me. What are you gonna do? You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do jack squat. What? I gotta calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, cast vlog when? Later. Uh, see regular email too. Read that already. Grape of Legend says, I'm gonna get a drink, but what is funny is you could play a game killing a chicken while demonic invasion is destroying the world. I know, right? Cast is currently, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, Steve. T. Washington, what's up, man? Please get in your head. Just stay focused on your job. You'll be back on Earth before you know it. Okay. Um, you're looking at the thing I already... Ne you know, never mind. Alright, here we go, guys. So this is, like, basically where we came in, isn't it? Objective complete. Locate maintenance entrance. Oh! Uh, locate the maintenance entrance. Where is the... Why does it say talk? Oh, I think it's bugged. Heh! <laughs> I think my thing's bugged, guys. So, where's the little uh, security thing we can put the code in? That probably comes later. Um, our city service passage. That would be that. Wait, here it is. Listen to Adam Bernecki's audio log. Just download it to your PDA when you picked it up to open this cabinet. Wasn't it 396? Nice. Hey, bullets. And whatever the crap the rest of this stuff is, which I can't use. Okay. Is it going to say talk like that the whole time? That's gonna get annoying. Save game. Can I save at any moment? I can. There's already an auto save. Um, we're gonna. Oh, what should I name this save? What should I name this save? We're gonna call the save stupid HR coordinator because I don't let a grudge go. All right, talk. Oh, or not, because that's not a thing. Quick to exit Mars City. We're going to the MC substation. Mars City Underground. The Mars City sublevel is one of the first multi-purpose installations built on Mars 
And we're not going to give you enough time to read that because it was just a loading screen, B-word. That's, that's their attitude. What a great reward. I know, right, Mr. Obsolete? Welcome to yeah, the dungeon, that sucked. Marine. The most unexciting place on Mars. I'm going to need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Is that so? Okay, grab your gear. Now, Bullets. Combat. Armor. Nice. Do a radio test. Okay. Sweet. Can I go down here? Radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Nice. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned combat oh, facility. Let me get Just some follow tea. the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. Let okay. Quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? I guess that's your access to that. Oh, there we go. Nice. Reach old comm building. Civilians are working down here. Don't get excited. And shoot. It. Right. Don't shoot any civilians. Uh, quick to access. Access denied. Area secure through security office. Okay. So we just need to go straight through the comm tower then. That's our job. Okay, we can do that. Got my pistol out and ready if we need it. So, what's the flashlight? That's F, right? Yeah. So, quick question. Does the flashlight have a uh, battery? Do I have to, like, worry about flashlight battery or anything? Because that would suck. Oh. You're looking for the scientist, right? Yeah. I'm not sure you want to find him. You see... Uh, uh, never mind. What? Hey, Don't come back here, creepy. Me. Never mind. Well, okay then. Uh, creepo. Oh, it, well, it's dark in here. Woo wee. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? <laughs> Just finish the coupling so we can continue. What's up, man? Buddy, I don't know if I can really help you with anything. I'm kind of busy here. Oh, I'm just curious what you were doing, but okay. You seen a missing scientist by any chance? Kind of looking for him. Uh, Izik, welcome to the stream. This is the beginning of death for him. Oh. There's two lockers where you had to go to a real site. Wait, there's two lockers where you had to go to a real site to get the locker. Unfortunately, the site no longer exists. Uh, name the next save, Joe Mama Tortellini. I'm not doing that. Because <laughs> that's stupid. My dude is so oblivious to his surroundings. What are you do? No, I'm not. Anyway, he'll become a true doomer. He wore the Sigma male grind set. <laughs> no battery. There is no battery? Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness, no flashlight battery. Okay, that would have been a very dreadful thing to have to keep up with. Oh! Uh, PDAs not only update your security clearance, but may also contain useful information such as cabinet codes. Do I by any chance know the code to this? Let's check out and see. Um, Grant Bash... Baston? Mars City Underground Service Supervisor. Security Clearance General Access. Let's listen to his audio log. Grant Baston, your Environmental Services Supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. I knew it. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people oh, on track. No. But we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. Okay, so no security codes in this one. Okay, so this is kind of scary. Um, have anything else? No? Well, don't have anything for this. Uh, could it just be 023? 396? Crap. Dude, do you know what the combination... Three five seven. Oh, come on! Dang it, buddy! Come on. Maybe you didn't hear me the first time, but I can I, keep my eye on dude, this. Dude, I just want the I just want the code. Okay, let a brother hold a dollar. Come on. 
Tell me the code. Okay, don't make me beg. Don't make, come on, man, They're, the people are watching. Don't make me beg for the code. Five, oh, five, three, one. Oh, everybody knows. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, five, three, one. Yeah, let's go. Armor shard shells, and that's it. Awesome. Okay, cast people give you code. Watch the chat. Yeah, thank you, guys. Oh, man. Another slightly dumb thing about flashlights is that no one thought about mounting it to their armor or the weapon to either hold the flashlight or the weapon. Yeah, video game A plus logic. Yeah, a lot of people thought that was pretty silly. But, ooh. Oh, wait, that was weird. Oh, that's not the flashlight. I thought, okay, the timing was perfect. I thought that was actually the flashlight. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Not keep any of these machines running? Yes, sir. It's just that the science team demands a lot out of these things. Enough excuses. Do your job and get the science team what they need. Well, I'm doing everything, but I just can't explain some of the things that have been happening to the systems. It's weird. Just get it done. So... So, I feel like there's some tension between the varying groups. Scanning active, analyzing data. Can I interact with this at all? No, not really. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's just some bars. Oh, cool! What's in here? Oh, there's all kinds of places you can go and people you can talk to. Do you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Not really. Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. Oh, the sorry. The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering me. Okay, gosh. Is everybody... Well, they are on edge. They did say that. Panel error, check connection. Uh, okay. That makes sense. That's what he was trying to fix. They're probably trying to get out of there. Oh, no. Oh, use your flashlight to illuminate dark here. Yes. Oh, boy, because the lights went out. Right. And now this door won't open. Oh, no, it will. Okay. Oh, I do not like this at all. No wonder everybody says this game is creepy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I know BFG fixed it. It's not a big issue for me. It just doesn't make logical sense. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So... Anyway, you can check your email. You can check the email of the other guys. Right, yeah, I did that. Guess what? What? There is also an achievement in the BFG for unlocking every single locker in the game. Nice. Alon, uh, Alonitis? Alonitis, welcome. If you get away enough from the NPCs, you can shoot them. Yeah, somebody said that earlier. I think another, I think a number of Doom 3's weapon models are ugly. Most notably the pistol. Well, if my goodness, it's dark enough, we can't see its ugliness. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, and who could have guessed it? The shotgun. I'm equally unenthusiastic about their sounds. You know what that sounds like? An empty lighter. That's what it sounds like. Cass talks to a video game character. Me, it can't hear you. Well, you know what, Plasma? I can't hear you, because I have silenced you forever. I, I don't know. The game's lighting and art style has aged pretty well. Honestly, for, oh, it's back on now, thank goodness, okay. Honestly, considering this came out in 2004, it still looks pretty good. Though, to be fair, I am, this is a modded version of this, but still, like, really good. Hey, no complaints here. Guy headed for the old comp center, right? You better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. We'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Hey, don't sweat it. Your suit's got plenty of oxygen. Oh, good deal. Well, what the hell are you waiting for, Marie? Oh, more bullets. Thank you. Compression sequence. Pressure equalizer. Oh, I gotta go out through there? Oh, that is not what I meant to do. I'm sorry, man. I did not mean to do that. Let me put that away for now. Don't want to have security issues. Psycho airwalk. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Thank goodness I have uh, enough air in my suit. Oh, this is so cool. This kind of looks like, uh, oh, look at the oxygen levels. The compression sequence. I got to get in here. There we go. Thankfully, I did have enough uh, oxygen, though, like it said. Uh. Like I was saying, the outside, it kind of looks like um, Doom 2016 a little bit. Steve Gohm deleted some messages. Oh, no spoilers. Ah, 
Yeah, yeah, no spoilers, please. Thank you, Steve. To be honest, I think Doom is turning into Among Us. I see venting happening in 2016 and Doom Eternal. What? I don't, I don't, I don't quite see that, but okay. I think on Doom 3, um, on OG Xbox has the flashlight on the pistol, but only the pistol. Really? Plasma, let the man get immersed. I'd have thought someone your age would understand immersion. Kids have a good grasp on that. It's true. Yeah, if you're if you're not emerging yourself in the game, I, not as fun of an experience in my opinion. Ooh, got some goodies up here. Hey, there's some more ammo. Armor shard. Sweet. Marine, this is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Wow. There's just I can't, just can't ever take my time and take in the. Uh, Oh, I guess I gotta go up to communications, don't I? Yeah. Um, I just can't ever take my time and take in the environment. It's always rush, rush, rush. Well, we have been, like, playing for an hour already. I guess we might as well. Toxie Death, welcome to Sus. When the demons are sus. <laughs> Ahem, I'm talking about the newer games, not the older games of Doom. Oh, okay, my bad. I haven't played the newer games yet, so. Sounds of Doom 3 were not that good sometimes. Art style's good, though. Cool. Eh, just not the same with the, you found a secret text and noise. I agree, Yoshi. I agree, it's really not the same. I would have appreciated that. Wait, what? What'd it say? I'm gonna pop up with this. Maybe I accidentally hit the tab. Oh, I just hit the tab by accident. Uh, objective complete, reach old comm building. Okay. Well, now that I'm here, what do I do? Oh, I guess I look for the scientist. Nah, that would make sense. Hello? Huh? Oh, here I am. No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I... You don't know what I've seen. You the can't missing possibly scientist? understand or comprehend. They're off line. It's real. I know. I built his cage. I didn't have normal readings here. This is bad. Oh, no. Oh no, this is the thing, isn't it? This is the thing for my trailer. Aligning comm, sat for upload, transmission in Oh! Oh no, here we go. Oh crap. Oh, that's bad. Oh no, buddy! Oh crap! Oh, I gotta kill the scientist now. That pistol sucks. Oh crap! All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Um, that seems like a good time to save. Mm-hmm. Stupid HR coordinator. Yeah. Seems kind of petty now. Are you sure you want to overwrite the following save? Yes, please. Oh boy. What do my PDA have to say, I wonder? I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. That, yeah, basically that's what it says. Okay. Uh, is there anything of use down here? More ammo? Any anything? Okay, wow, there's a lot going on, it sounds like. Okay, wow. Time for combat, yeah. The intro is not that bad, honestly. It actually shows all the mechanics. Yeah, I agree. I gotta get this chair out of the fr oh crap. Now oh, here's a dude, yep. Oh crap! Shoot him in the head, they just dissolve. How the hell do I get around this? Oh. Oh, I do not like the way that sounds. I'm probably gonna have to, oh crap, everybody's getting attacked now. I'm gonna, I need to quit pulling that up. Oh! We good? Yeah, we're good, okay. I think. Cycle air walk, okay. Please, I hope the guy on the other side of this is still human, by the way. Oh yeah, we're going outdoors, that's right. Am I gonna get attacked out here? This is crazy, guys, this is really cool. Finally it begins, the real fun is here. A good intro to demons, not gonna lie, yeah. Those are not lost souls, they look much weirder. They look like lost souls, though. 
In my opinion, Doom 3 copies Half-Life's homework with its intro, but screws up the key details that let Half-Life pass the test. Really? Okay. The devil is real. I built his cage. Very good voice line. Yeah. Yeah, headshots do more damage here like in modern games. Thank goodness. I just kind of did that natu by natural instinct. So oh, no. Dude. Oh, crap. Yeah, crud. Anyone else? Well, he's not dead. Oh, well, that guy's... If that guy wasn't dead, he is now. Are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, I'm pulling out my flashlight. I'm gonna need it. Oh, crap. Oh, ho! So you can actually use the flashlight as, like, a melee weapon, like, up close if you need to, which is cool, I guess. They're breaking through the walls. Well, that's not good. I don't want that. I don't want to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. What happened if I shot this? It would blow up. Anything else? Is there anything of interest in here? No. Thought maybe it was like a secret hidden behind it. Ah, uh, come on. Nice. All right, some control panels can be used to operate machinery. Shutting down control arm. You good, man? Oh, crap. Well, that's bad. Hello? I can't see. Um, Retract service bridge. Oh, good. We got a service bridge. Oh! Oh, crap. He's got a gun. Die. All right, we got armor shards. Oh, no. Crud. He's got, he's got cover. My man knows cover. He's been trained. Is he dead? Oh, crap. Nope. No, he's not. Is there someone else? No, he just got me. All right, he's dead. There is no one else behind me, right? No, but that was scary, though, the thought. Oh, should I save again? Yeah, should I make a different save? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, new save. We're gonna call. We're gonna call this one. Um, what are we gonna call this one? I don't know. I'm dealing with coronavirus. You still have that, buddy? I'm glad you're getting better, though. Well, this is what I came for. That's good. It did. <laughs> Crap! I hit the fan. It did, all on Titus. It did, man. Oh, Nebonsa says hi. Welcome to the stream, sir. Good to have you. Thank you guys for 26 likes, by the way. Oh, man. I'm glad everyone was so hyped for this series. This has been really cool so far. Okay. Uh, we're going to call this one uh, I Soiled My Pants. That's what we're going to call this one. All right. That's the that's the name of this save. Oh, check out these uh, check out these boxes that we can hit with our flashlight. Click the scan. Invalid security clearance. Engineer. Authorized personnel and file. Engineering team. Underground security, Ian Sinclair. So, bullets. Okay, did I pick up anyone's PDA by chance? Security clearance, ID mismatch. General access, maintenance tech. So, couldn't we use this guy's? No? So we have to pick up, we're gonna have to pick up more PDAs in order to open doors. Oh, uh, crap, crap. It's that thing. Oh! You got a PDA, little buddy? Do ya? Hi. Oh, that's creepy. As hell. There's some bullets. Could I pick up a... Security clearance updated. I did pick up a PDA. What the hell am I hearing? Oh! It was a door. It was just a door. Okay. All good. I'm going to save again. Yeah. Because it's it's been a minute. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Okay. All good. Can we go through here now? We can. Hey, buddy. Are you good? Oh, no. Are you good? Oh, he fell. Dude, it wasn't that much of a fall. Dude, get up. Dude, what happened to your arm? Uh-oh. Hey, man. 
Dude, things do not sound good upstairs. I'm just saying. What the hell? Oh, this looks fun. Oh, crap! Oh, you're right. The shotgun does suck. Oh, so chest instead of headshot, sort of. Okay, um, can I go back upstairs? Would it even do me any good if I did? Let's save again. Woo! Okay. Uh, Adrian, welcome to the stream, dude. This finally, yes, sir. Cass, can you do an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression? Ooh. I am ready to become governor of California. Give me money. I, I don't know. Was that good? Oh, man. Save his baby shark. I'm never gonna do that. Baby shark is the stupidest thing ever invented. And anyone who likes that unironically is stupid too. So no. Um, Kess, uh, everything looks weird except the Hell Knights. Really? Okay. There's some more ammo at least. Oh, come on! Where is it? Please tell me that's it. Nope, there's more. Ow! Should have taken better cover, huh? Is this just like enemy wave defense as long as that little ticker's going? No. That's just what that sounds like. That is like the creepiest thing ever. Gotta save again. <laughs> I just have to. I probably shouldn't be save scumming my whole way through this. Should I? Yeah, I'll quit doing that. Okay. Let's see if there's anything new in my PDA. Um. Wait. Frank DeWa. Have I listened to his stuff? I don't think I have. Power demands. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager. Delahue, whatever his name is. Power production dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over at Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. Oh boy, that is not good. Huh. By the way, Cass, thank you for Chicken Bears Universe content again. I've been waiting for it. Oh, you're welcome. Hope you enjoyed the modding guide. I got another video I'm working on coming out soon. Need to save that guy for a walker, Cass. Need to save the guy for a walker. Oh, the dude who died? I had to save him? Oh, rip. Once again, a normal thing scares Cass. Yep. Oh, man. Cats playing horror games, bad game. It was cringe and made for kids. Cats playing normal games, opens a door. Ah. When have I ever said a game was cringe and made for kids? That was scary. Fatherless shark, dude, dude. Wow. Wow. Doom 3 is just like that. Super atmospheric. Yeah. I think even a 15th century blunderbuss would be better than this crap Dane on its legacy. Yeah, the shotgun's not great. I agree. So... Even though it has over 10 billion views, yeah, no, Baby Shark is stupid, and everyone who likes it is stupid. All 10 billion of them are stupid. Doom 3 got a multiplayer. Yes, it does. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, sort of. engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire, jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. To date, we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate, and I recommend no changes in that procedure. Okay, user email. Is there anything new? Uh, yo, Frank, don't forget that we're starting the party early this time, 815. Be Mora. 
Uh, UAC employee, we've received your complaint. We'll consider your request. Safety is important to us. We'll do everything to ensure security throughout the UAC. Uh, to UAC, I've become increasingly concerned for the safety of myself and my co-workers down here in Underground. We've had guys getting stuck outside the airlock that leads to the old comm building, and there seems to be build up of tension over the past few weeks. I've seen friendly co-workers change. I formally request additional security as well as an investigation as to what's causing all the angst. Uh, and they said, they sent him back a form letter, basically. Okay, I gotta go back to Mars City. Um, and that's, that's it. Okay. Let's get back to action, guys. Oh! All good. All good. Oh, hi, man. Blew out his little brain. Thank goodness I got plenty of ammo. For now. Okay, wow, that sounds real bad. I need to hurry. Can I go this way? Oh, crap. Oh, please, no. Oh, oh, oh it's the imp. Oh, it's hideous. Well, there that goes. Hi. Yep, there, there comes another one. Nice. Man, that is hard to shoot. Gotta save again. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna save on this one. Sure. Okay. Oh, man. Bro, why do you not like Doom 3? Uh, oh, you're talking to Yoshi. Okay. Cooking personnel and PDA files for his new audio and visual video with it. You read my mind, ATF. Multiplayer in Doom 3 is really good. Is it? Cool. I don't think Doom 3 is that bad, even if it is my least favorite game. There's a lot of differing opinions on this. It's a very polarizing game, I've noticed. And there's another enemy! Should take care of him for the most part. Oh, there's another one. And there's one behind me, right? Yeah, there is. It's a freaking amp is what it is. Is there another one? Probably. Probably a million of them in here. Uh, they're coming through the portal. Well, that's bad news. More armor shards and shells. Okay, hold up. I'd say all things considered, I'm handling this fairly well. Right? Administer treatment emergency medical station. Oh, nice, I can heal myself. Sweet. Got a situation, all right. Well, we'll work on your situation, buddy. Uh-oh, that sounds bad. Ah! There we go. Whew, you really wanna have your gun out, don't you? Except for when you don't, because you like to see. See, what I don't like is when they run up like that. You stupid garbage. Ah! Okay, what I don't like is when they run up like that. Now I understand why this treatment thing was here. Of course, I wasted it already. I don't like it's when they run up like that out of nowhere. Freaking creepy, man. Dude! Don't make that sound from behind me. Ugh. Ugh. Dude. Like, you're behind me. I gotta go this way. I don't wanna go this way! Doom 3 is the, the game is, yeah, you get it. Doom 3 is fine, but only fine. Nothing more, nothing less. Hey, guess we're scrolling in your old videos and watch the Henry Stickman series. Still remember, this is the greatest plan from Charles? I do. That was a classic. Guess getting jump a little bit. Hey, buddy. Oh! What the crap was that? How about you freaking die? Okay, maybe the flashlight is not the greatest plan ever. Oh, you piece of garbage. Dude. Okay. So... Yeah. Um, I'm gonna save on a different save this time. I'm gonna save on stupid HR coordinator. That's gonna be like my most recent save, but my unhealthiness save, you know? All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. 
We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailant. I think I'm going backwards, aren't I? You don't have a clear path back to HQ. Stock up on ammo. No, I'm not. And keep them at bay. I'm going back the way I came in, but I'm not going backwards. Oh, you stupid garbage. Oh, this gun really does suck. This shotgun is terrible. I do not like the way this thing operates at all. Nice. That worked out well. And that's what we like to call using your environment to your advantage and walking where you step. Watching where you step, excuse me. Also, I'm playing on hard mode, by the way. Veteran difficulty. Yeah, everyone does, dude. Can we go in here? Security checkpoint? Doubtful. Quick to exit. Dude, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to quick the thing, idiot. Let's try that again. Oh, there he is. Oh, come on! That was stupid. Oh, man. Anyway, do you know what a musket is? A musket is the precursor to modern rifles, then the blunderbuss is the precursor to modern shotguns. Right. Makes sense. Anyway, just have to put apart the bias that is from the Doom franchise. Um, then it's fear on Mars with demons and without bullet time. If we restart... Oh, replay current level, low to save game. What's low to save game? How about that? Thank goodness I saved recently. Although I guess Doom 3 shotgun is a blunt... Is a... Uh, a blunder? Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Negative ID on the assailing force. Nice. Alright, now that I know where he is, maybe I can do a little bit better. There's that. We're gonna move back. Then we're gonna run up. Here comes another one through this door. We're just gonna take a step back for him. Wow. Headshots don't do much on you, do they, little buddy? There you go, that works, I guess. Okay, so here's the problem. Again, really low health, and this dude's in here, so I'm just gonna like save scum my way past that. Nice. Oh. Or just shoot him before he wakes up, I guess. That works, too. Oh, I guess he was asleep when he got converted or whatever the hell happened. Oh, and I don't like that. Oh, man, nobody likes that. What did I just do? Can't be good, whatever it is. Oh, well, I let in more people, for one. Ah, he got me. Oh, there's some more shells, anyway. Can I go in here now? Yeah. Back to security checkpoint. Objective complete. Wonderful. Oh, you stupid garbage. Die! All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Medkit, nice. Save time. <laughs> Definitely save time. Let's go. Woo! All right, head back here and await orders. Let's do it. Oh, hi, buddy. Nice try. Good work on that. Quick to exit. Nice! We did it! That was the end of the level! Union Aerospace Corporate Division. Mars City is the gateway to all of Union Aerospace's stuff. All right, so here we go. We're starting the second level with not much health left. This is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. Marine Comm Center. Return to the command message center for a status update from Sergeant Kelly. All right, good stuff. Anyway, uh, healing stations are really good in this game. Sad that armor is crap. Anyway, the meme and welcome. Hey, Cass, nice to be here again. I can see you're having a blast with the runt of the litter. So far, having a pretty good time, yeah. I feel like I've heard those imps sound before. Uh, trailer, maybe? 
Shotgun is whack, man. I still remember raging so hard at this back when I was 13. Dang. This would have terrified me at the age of 13. Maybe that's just a wimp. I don't know. All right. So real quick, before we do, uh, before we go ahead and play this next level, I am going to take a quick bathroom break because I've nearly wet myself several times from all this excitement. So let me go do that. Grab some tea. Going to let the chair entertain you. Tell you a few jokes. Tell the one about the peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich, man. They'll, they'll love that one. back. Thank you all for waiting patiently for my return. Ugh. The game doesn't have a super shotgun. That's con that's confined to the DLC for some stinking reason. Oh. Plasma rifle was bound to be up there. That thing's always nice to have around and is pretty satisfying to use. Civvy's a really good source. According to Civvy's game's best rifle are the chain gun and the plasma rifle. Revenant style magic punch. Chair gaming. The chair is back. So aiming at the chest is like number one thing to do along with running up to them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Man, Cass, when you weren't here, Mr. Beast showed up and spammed chair gaming and chat. Then PewDiePie came and said your videos are great. Then Dream came and asked you to play Minecraft for 100,000. Uh, uh, that's, that's nice. All right, guys. So, oh, crap. Oh, that's fun. Nice. We got him. Got some more bullets in the process. Okay. So, so far, just here from the beginning of the game, while it's definitely, oh, a storage locker. Oh, this is the one we unlocked. Hey, you, up here, quick. Yes, yes. I thought I was the only one still alive. Nope, I you're not. I believe I found you. Something happened. How do I get up? It was like a shockwave. It passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. Yeah, sure thing, man. I guess I can't go up there all the way. Okay. Ow! What did I get hurt for? Alright, I'm going up here. Anyway, guys, yeah. So while this is uh while the intro for this game is a little bit generic, I've really enjoyed it, like so far. This has been pretty cool. Um, well, I'm really not good at, uh, platforming, am I? 
Um, okay, well, he said go for help. I'm assuming we're supposed to go up here. Are we not? Do I go back this way? No. Should I not have my guns out? Is that it? Oh, I can go up here magically now. Oh, maybe it didn't let me go past this when I was talking to it. Ew. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Uh... Oh, so crouch is just an alternate button. C is crouch. Okay. Wasn't prepared for that, but that's fine. Yeah, no problem. I'll be... I'll watch it. Uh, save game. Let's save on a stupid HR coordinator. Because <laughs> why not? I hope nothing comes through the walls, because that would suck. Hi! At least you can see. You don't really need your... Your thing. And by your thing, I mean your flashlight. We can go up there, we can go this way. Oh, this is where I came in. Oh, awkward. Went totally backwards, didn't I? Yep. Okay, this way it is. Is there anything down there? A lot of blood, a lot of dead people. Hello. There he is. There's another one. Whoop. That was a little close. Okay. More bullets back here that I don't need. Another PDA. Downloading PDA, Marcus St Stanton. Ow! Oh, it's the fire. Oh, you stupid garbage. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Tab. Uh, PDA. Let's see. Marcus Stanton. Let's see what he's got. Undocumented cargo? Uh, security clearance, general access, manifest controller. Okay. Oh, man. He already spoiled his fresh pants. Yeah, I sure did. Wow, why Super Shotgun gotta be yeeted into DLC? I don't know, man. It just does. Yeah, it ain't even Super. It's, it's pretty whack, too. Also, it's not called a Super Shotgun. I forgot what it's called. It was like Sergeant or Colonel Shotgun or something. Wow. That's pretty bad. You can change the controls and set crouch to control. That's true, I could. So, super shotgun is the super shotgun. Does not matter if it changes its name, it's the same. Well, not if it doesn't control the same, it's not. But I get what you mean, it's the same sort of idea. Uh, undocumented Mark's cargo. Dead. Manifest controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the Manifest Controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest. But whoever it is, it must stop. One hmm. of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Well, dang. Okay, then. You're not messing around. Okay. Uh, user email. Would you believe chainsaws? Uh, Marcus, those morons at Mixum have done it again. I requisitioned a crate of jackhammers. What we got were several crates of chainsaws and no jackhammers at all. What the hell were they thinking? Chainsaws serve no purpose on Mars. So that's what he's upset about. I'm s oh, I'm gonna get a chainsaw, aren't I? Yeah. I'm sending these back as soon as I get the time. Meanwhile, I would appreciate it if you could lodge another complaint with Mixum and expedite my jackhammers when they do arrive. David Robbins, Industrial Complex. Well, that was a nice explanation of why we've got chainsaws on Marge. Farewell for now, Ray Gerdhart. If you've received this email, you were someone I worked with while here on Mars and have made an impression on my life. I want you to know I'm leaving Mars and UAC to pursue other opportunities after one last assignment tomorrow in Delta Labs. Oof. I will miss you terribly and will think of you often. 
I'm sure the friendships I've made here will last the rest of my life, and I'll be sure to keep in touch. As soon as I have a new address, I'll forward it along. I hope you will join me in the Mars City Kitchen for a drink tomorrow evening. My shuttle leaves first thing on 1116, and I'd hate to miss my last chance to see you. Until next time, Ray Gerdhart, uh, Duncan Matthews, forward farewell for now. Any idea who this guy is? I think he may be the funny looking dweeb from Alpha Labs, but I always thought his name was Alan. Are you gonna go have that drink with him? I wouldn't normally, but if he's buying other people will be there, it might be fun. Huh, what do you know? Uh, go there for the update. Video disc, does, does he have anything? Okay, did we read this guy's email? We did, yeah, we read everybody else's email. Okay, uh, let's continue, I guess. Be dead? Yeah. Med kit, thank goodness. I'm gonna save again. Okay. Here we go, guys. Oh! Oh, okay. Didn't expect there to be a second one literally right behind him. Oh, there's nothing good in the box. Claim. Obtain an ACO key card for access. Or someone banging around in there, I'll say that. Oh, machine gun, let's go! Is this any good? This is the new gun. Nothing on that security panel. Nice try, dummy. Objective complete, ACO card. Sweet. Station locked. Got some clips, okay. Now now maybe I can use the, uh... Oh no. This is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Look to your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you. Wow, okay then. Though what the hell they do to BFG? They turned it into a weird kind of gun, which you'll find out when you get it. All right then, guess we'll see. Oh, I like this. Okay, well maybe I don't. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. Now, this is pretty good. Oh, nice! The bot! The bots are like defense things against the... Against the zombies. That's awesome! I feel nervous about this. Yep, and that's why. Dude, he don't even have a freaking face, man. That's messed up. At least give my boy a face. Is there anyone else? I don't think so. Thank goodness. That was creepy as hell. I wanna save again, that's what I wanna do. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. You think the BFG would be powerful like any other Doom game? Yeah, you would. I would. I guess those things don't do anything. Okay. I'm gonna have my flash slide out for this no matter how. Never mind, I see him. Got him. All right, I think I'm gonna switch back to that other gun now. Never mind. Oh, that guy don't even have a complete face. I'm the only one walking at the moment. Here we go. I want to take special care. Oh, hello, buddy. Alright, we're good. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. It is hard to stay healthy, you know that? Are we good? There's a med kit, thank you. Okay, that's a blinky thing. Blinky things, I have been I have been taught by my dooming days to learn that blinky things mean secrets. Uh, I guess it's just a light, okay. What's in here? More stuff, okay, med kit. Wow, that was rough. Anything else? I 
I know I don't have much ammo left in this gun before I'm gonna be out. Crap. Die freaking already, gosh! I don't have any more ammo. Well, I guess I have plenty of shotgun shells now at least, don't I? Okay, that's reloaded, shotgun. Oh, sweet. There's some armor shards, at least. Uh, flashlight? Yeah. You guys are right, armor doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, sure, why not? We're still doing okay, though. Well, I say that, but... You stupid garbage, die! Okay, we're good. We're still good. Oh, man. I see the game looks good. It looks pretty okay. So, it is, it is, but not worthy of the Doom title. So, you like the game, you just don't think it's worthy of being a Doom game? I guess I could see that. If this was like an Aliens game or something. I haven't played Aliens games, obviously, but it seems kind of have that same general... Oh, earlier I saw this red thing on the computer monitors and thought maybe they were playing, like, classic Doom. They're not. Here's the infirmary. If I was gonna get attacked, this would be the place to do it. I'm gonna make sure my guns are ready to go. Administer treatment. Okay. Here is what that means for those not in the loop. It means I am about to get seriously nay-nayed. Oh, supplies! I don't know the code for this. I don't know there's a code for the supply locker. Remember, listening to audio logs may provide you with valuable information. Well, duh, oh. Who wants to bet that's gonna be the code in this audio log? Hey, no one else is nice about this game? You can punt, you can interact with stuff. You don't, you don't use that feature much, but it's cool. Like, punch soda cans around the room. Audio log, let's listen. Uh, Mark Casian. Security clearance, show access, he's a doctor, Mars City. High incidence of psychological reports. Audio log for Dr. Casian, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. Dang. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey and Allen. Dang, okay. And now there's a patient attack? Like one attack the doctor or something? Man. Do that, I can respect the dude took time to make such a beautiful horror game, yeah? Check your email? I'll do that, I'll check the email. Thanks for telling me. Greetings, Cats, what's up, Spin? Welcome. Doom 3, very nice game. Uh, so far, I've liked it for the most part. Couple of things I would have uh, done differently, but generally speaking, pretty good. So, well, Classic Doom was originally gonna be an Aliens game. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Steve, it was. That's true, it was like gonna have the Aliens license. Dr. Mark Casian. At 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. Okay. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room five. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after four, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills Dang. was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. Wow. We can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, 
All medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Yes! The There's the code. There's the code. 347. Let's go. Uh, Jordan Kennedy, reply patient attack. Thank you for sending me the audio report. I wish the news was better. I will coordinate with our colleagues here on Earth to find additional staff and resources to assist. Given the situation there, it isn't going to be easy. You may be on your own for a while. My advice to you, continue to document everything you can, attempt to find the root of the problem, and for goodness sake, stash weapons and medical supplies for yourself in case things get worse. I'm glad to hear you've already taken some precautions by locking some supplies in that cabinet. Hope it is enough. I appreciate you including the code in your report, and we'll keep it secure. <laughs> Sarah Holston says, leaving. Uh, oh, this is like six days later. Mark, I hear that you're leaving Mars. I'm happy that you'll be able to spend more time with your family, but I'm very worried about your deteriorating such bleh. I am very worried about the deteriorating situation here. We're short-staffed already. Your departure will be a big loss. Speaking of which, I've noticed that Zack in operations has been behaving more and more erratically. Since talking with you, I'm not sure if I'm being overly sensitive or if he has caught the bug going around. I swear he tried to bite me today. Ugh. In your absence, is there anything I should do? Okay, that's bad. That's real bad. Anyway. Um... Steve says, no, nah, that's Outlast, mate. What is? Cool, but scary? Oh, uh, yeah. Out Outlast looks pretty scary. You're more of a Dead Space type of guy? Okay. Cool, cool. Cash, you must play Dead Space. Oh, it's on my list. It is on there. You're going to scream like a female dog, man. Oh, I believe it. Anyway, I'm off to work. See you guys later. Have a good day at work, Steve. It was good having you here, man. All right, so we read the emails. Let's check out our personnel here. Do I have anything new? No. I most certainly do not. Okay, so 397. That wasn't it? Was it 396? 379? Better listen to that thing again, huh? Hold on a second. Uh, Mark Casian. Dr. Mark Casian. At 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaint. 347. Okay. Thank you, ATIF. Three, four, seven. Got that slightly confused, didn't I? All right, thank you. So we got health, armor, ammo, wonderful stuff. All right, let's continue. Hello, oh, that's fun. The patient came alive. And now he's gone, because I shot him. Well, that's good, I guess. Oh, crap. Oh, man, I do need to rebind that. Hold on. I'm going to take a moment and do that because I'm not going to get used to using C. Uh, crouch. Left control. There you go. Okay. Hello. Oh, he's on fire. And now he's dead. Now, here's what bothers me. Okay, what bothers me is the fact that the dead ones could come back alive. Potentially. Like, obviously, I don't know that. But the potential's gotta be there, right? Video requested. Video link up requested? Video link up requested. Connection established. Nice! What's up, Kelly? I can't believe you're still alive. I'm, yep, I'm unable to return me neither. to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. Yeah. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. We're missing to link up with Bravo Team and get that transmission sent. Bravo Team. Head okay. toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Nice. Good job. And Thanks. Good luck, Marine. All right, guys. Here we go, security clearance updated. All right, so I feel like this is a good time to save. And we'll continue. Uh, game saved. New objective, join up with Bravo Team in Alpha Labs. Go through administration for entry into the Alpha Labs sector. Administration, okay. Uh, personnel, new objective, and that's really it. Yeah. Okay, go through administration. So, we don't go that way, obviously. Where is administration? That's back this way, right? You hear them, don't you? Yep. I hate those things. I really should take better uh, cover. 
But still. You know. Nice! This is where we're supposed to go, I think. Marine Command Operations, crap! I didn't do squat. Of course, I'm doing that, I'm not, well, you guys did say get up close to him, but he has a gun. He has a gun, for goodness sakes. Yeah. Oh, that guy's a pistol. Oh, and here's a guy back here, too. You freaking die already, dude, dang. There's so many of them, they have guns. Oh crap, there's another one. Oh man, he got some moves. Are they done? I hope so. I don't know if my little heart can take it anymore. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> that was scary. All right, save time again. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. All right, anyway, the game has better weapons plus inventory management. Does it? Dead space is scarier than this? Uh, has Kess noticed the health panels on the wall? Oh, I forgot the health panel, dude! That was earlier! I didn't use it because I was worried about the stuff we'd have to fight. Oh, can I go back and like use it now? Or is it too late? It's probably too late. Oh, crap! Didn't go in here earlier, did I? Clearly I didn't. Oh, security access code door. Enter access code for the weapon storage. Oh, uh, that would be cool. Um, oh, so you guys know, does anyone in the chat by any chance know the code for weapon storage? Cause that would be very convenient. Oh man, Reaper's intern. What's good, Troy? Welcome to the stream. Oh man. No is, it is extremely ob, wait. No is extremely oblivious to his surroundings to the point he often runs past switches he needs to use to progress in classic Doom and he's missed several secrets in Doom 3 already. Well, it is my first time playing it. Steve, give give me a break. Uh, Surge says crouch under fire. Ah, crouch under fire, smart move. Thank you for the suggestion. Panamic, welcome. Hey Cass, what a timing to start Doom 3. Yesterday the Doom franchise got an update, lol. I know, yeah, I got a video coming out about that later this evening. Already made, just needs to be edited. Can I grab that by chance? Can I like get down and grab it by any chance? Well, can I go around? I keep pulling this up as a map. Force of habit. Is there a way to get back around there? Cause I'll bet you that PDA has it on here. Crap. You stupid idiot. Get destroyed! Woo! So, is there any way I could like, cr oh, crouch, let's crouch underneath here. There you go. Hey, I did it. Downloading PDA. Who wants to bet that that's gonna have the uh, information on it that we need? Bet you anything that it does. All right, run back through here real quick. All right, what's on this PDA, son? Bill Tyson. Uh, general Troop Morale, Staff Sergeant, Security Clearance, General Access, okay. Audio report on Troop Morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my main sharp and ready to go. But events at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God knows what. There are quite That's a few true. People missing. And no Marines, of course. It's the civilian population I'm referring to. Bottom line, whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a racer's edge. At this point, there is no cause for alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 180. I will continue to report as the situation develops. It is good we have the new Marines en route. Fresh faces will help. Sergeant Tyson, out. Hmm. Okay then. Oh, man. Anyway. 584 is the code? Okay, awesome. Thank you. Search code yourself, Cast, by finding PDAs on desks or dead bodies. Yeah, already already did it, A Dip, but thank you. Report confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine Facility, October 30th, 2145. 
The new troops will be arriving within a few days. I've started a series of training exercises focusing on close quarters small weapons combat, as well as instituting mandatory refresher courses on all munitions and weapons in our armory. In response to the large Here we number go. This of the code, right? and general feelings of ill will Five, eight, four. Base, I've doubled security details, placing two Marines at each checkpoint. This additional presence should help calm things down. I expect Excuse that me. the incoming Marines are not quite as green as the last appointment. They've turned out okay, but some combat experience will go a long way right now. Sergeant Tyson, out. No, there is no code in this. Okay. But maybe it's in the email, right? Sentry bot security. Oh yeah, we saw that uh, chew down a couple of zombies. I have been a major supporter of putting sentry bots and routine patrols. In the past, they have proven to be very reliable. That changed today. Uh-oh. I witness... <clears throat> I witnessed two of our guys doing maintenance on a bot in Mars City. While having it only partially assembled, they activated its sensors to test their repairs. All of a sudden, the sentry walked onto one of the Marines as an enemy and began firing at him. If the ammo had been loaded, the Marine would have been killed. Thankfully, the other Marine was able to immobilize it quickly. The sentry bot is powerful, but maybe too powerful. Why do we need that much firepower in Mars City? Except for the odd report of individuals going a little crazy, we don't have many problems. Do we really expect the sentry bots to know the difference between someone having a bad day and someone gone mad? Hope you can talk to Sarge about this before something worse happens. Testing, testing, are we back? Yes, no, maybe. All right, I think we're back. I apologize for that, everybody. For some reason, uh, my internet starts streaming. All right, are we back now? Yeah, I think we're back. All right. Yeah, we're good. All right, thank you everyone for hanging on for a second. For some reason, OBS just totally dropped my internet connection twice. I restarted it, it was fine for a few seconds, then it totally died again. Don't know what the hell happened. OBS just lost its crap um, and disconnected. So whatever was going on, we restarted it. I, I think it's good, we'll get back into it. Um, Reread the emails real quick. And, uh, yeah, sorry about that, everybody. I've been having so many internet problems lately, it's driving me out of my mind. <laughs> oh, Nemesis Prime, welcome. Still having issues, yes, unfortunately. Cast streams are very enjoyable. He is my Doom Master, and I can learn English when I write with you guys. Awesome, Sven. I'm glad that, that can help, man. Good to hear it. All right, let's get back into the game. So this is the email with the uh, security code. Security code change. Sergeant Tyson, due to the upcoming personnel transfer, will be changing the weapon storage code in Marine Command to 584. The change will take effect on November 15th, um, 2145. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. The new arrival, security body issue, etc., etc. Okay, so I think that's everything. Um, we should just now be able to uh, go in here now. So, 584. Five, eight, four. Thank you guys again for your help. Armor, med kit, shells, awesome. All right, so even though I missed that little health dispenser thing earlier, we're still okay, because we got this all taken care of, so that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and head back to the administrative section now, I guess. Even though I'm a little nervous about doing so. Here we go. Oh, no, this is the kitchen! Oh, there he is. Nice. Anyone else? He had a flashlight, dude. Check it. My man had a flashlight. Oh, armor shards. And shells. Okay. Marine, if you hey. run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. Out of order. Aw. They got super turbo monk. Turkey, super turbo turkey puncher. Nice. All right. Hey, thank you guys for telling me about using crouching. That is a big help for combat. Way, way easier. Avoiding taking damage that way. Okay, I was listening for footsteps. This is actually like really intense. I really like it though. Oh man. Whew. Nemesis says, what's your favorite Doom game? Uh, So far out of the whole series. Psychological services are free and confidential. They're saying that right as I go in the restroom. Here it comes. Here it comes, guys. Get ready. Okay. To answer your question, though, Nemesis, probably Doom 2 would have to be uh, my favorite. It's 
Told you guys to be ready. Nice try, idiot. Anyone else? I think I'm gonna see the answers no. Oh man, that was horrifying, whatever the hell that was supposed to be. Okay, we're good. I'm glad we have plenty of ammo and health. I don't need to save every five minutes, for goodness sakes. Nice. Anyone else? Hey, Sentry Bot! Nice! It said if we find one, use it. So here's a question. Is it gonna shoot me? Because I read that little email about them, like, not knowing the difference. Hey, man. No, it does know the difference. Awesome. Oh, I love these little guys. And we're gonna follow him. Well, I'm gonna follow him, but... What's back here? Nice. Thanks, man. Should've just let him do it. Can I use this? No. I want to make sure I didn't miss nothing. Nothing in there. Nothing back over this way. Station walk. The laptop's falling down. Can I get in here? No. Okay. Only nothing back here then. Let's go, little guy. All right, guys. Got my own little... You got to get to Bravo team quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Yeah, I'm Sending on my way, dude. Mission is critical to our survival. Nice! Taking out the ones with guns for me. Thanks, man. Nice. Destroy them, buddy. Destroy those fleshy little messes. Freaking go, son! Woo! Nice. Casting the spider bot to get station locked. Wow. Everything's all locked up now. That makes sense, though. Security protocols and whatnot. Let's save it. Testing, testing. All right, guys, I apologize for that. Once again, the internet went down. We are back up again, I think. I don't know what the hell is wrong. If that happens a third time, we might actually have to shut down the stream for a bit until I get that sorted out because if that just keeps happening, then there's no way, there's no reason it wouldn't happen again. Usually two is about the limit as far as like three, let me put it this way. Three is a pattern. And once you get a pattern, you gotta go and call up the company and say, get one of your people out here and fix this. So, anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Let's try that again. I bet Cats would have screamed in the bathroom scene if he didn't know. <laughs> Probably a tip, yeah. But anyway, Mr. Obsolete, I was trying to explain to you the jump scare before the vid cut off. So, um, what happened was, in the bathroom, the... It's right before you walk in there, it's like the UAC is here to help you. Psychological treatment is available at any time. And then you walk in the mirror and it's like, whoa. Anyway, you had internet issues earlier. Hope everything is fixed. Hey, champion, it is not fixed at all. So it's stupid internet by stupid people. It will shoot you if you get it in the way. Okay, better not stand in front of it then. Looks like everything is not fixed. The issues are back. Yep. So, everyone has internet issues nowadays. Yeah, thank I always get real aggravated about it, but thankfully it's one of those things everybody can understand because everybody can relate to having internet issues. All right, so we got through all this. There's the bot. Let's not get in front of him because we don't want to get shot. You go right, buddy. I'll go left. Okay, there he is. You see him? There's someone behind me. Oh, they're on all sides. Dang, son. Go on, little guy, move it. There, he got him. Good job. Oh, it takes damage like a champ. Wait, what is, oh, this is where it ends. That's its resting spot. Oh, they're only programmed to go from zone to zone, I'll bet you. Oh, I can leave, right? Yeah, administrative offices. Sweet, oh, I guess this is the end of the level then. All right, good deal, guys. It's like going down. It ends and begins with an elevator sequence. <laughs> Click to exit Mars City. All right, guys. Administration. The administration facility is the corporate presence on Mars. Blah, 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 blah. It's time to save our game again. That's what it is. Woo! All right. It's only if you get in the line of fire, not just standing in front of it. Right.
I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation the, is out of control. He's the villain, isn't he? It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Oh, crud. Okay, well. Here we go. Oh, nice. Easy little one shot. So. Oh! Is this plan B going Welcome into effect? To the Alpha Labs. Formerly oh, no, no. It's just a video. By the Union Aerospace Off World Research Division. The Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research Terminal 3 data library. Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading edge technology, such as the elemental phase deconstructor, hydrocar, and molecular fuel storage This does kind of give me compressor. Half-Life vibes, All the TVs with the stuff on right them. Here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. That's where the problem all started. And hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed nice. to building a better tomorrow. Yeah, okay then. So now that we got rid of all that crap. Oh, general access unlocked. Well, the problem is the door is shattered to pieces. <laughs> crap, didn't mean to do that. Here we go. Who's ready for him? What's up, man? What is this creep doing? Get out of here. I don't even know where he came from. Who's shooting at me? That guy is. Nice. We got him. Here comes someone else, though. Crap. Nice. I really gotta crouch a little more. I hear someone else. Oh, that's just the fan blade. Well, thank goodness. I don't know if I can handle much more. Ooh! Wait a minute. Alpha Labs. Okay, there's Alpha Labs, and here's a PDA right here. And here's a health dispenser, thank goodness. Hey, buddy, what's good? Get destroyed. Anyone else? No. Doesn't mean there can't be. Okay, we got some shells. Oh, I'm like on the edge of my seat. It's, it's great. What a great game. Oh, man. Cash, you might want to end the stream here or the next level. Oh, why? Because of the technical issues? No, I, th I think we're okay for not right now, Mr. Obsolete. If we have any more problems, we will, but no. Um, one is a coincidence, two is a concern, three is a pattern. Yeah, Champion's got the right idea. So, you gonna do the expansion packs? Yes, I am. We're gonna do uh, Resurrection of Evil, um, and then we're gonna be moving to Doom 3 BFG Edition and playing that with the achievements. And we'll do Resurrection of Evil again. Ooh, we download the video? Oh, we can download a video, okay. And we'll do the, uh, the Lost. What was it called? The Lost something? An another expansion. All right, download. Did we do it? I think so, yeah. Check out our video here. Video discs. Uh, Alpha Labs introduction. Isn't that what we just watched? Didn't we just watch this Welcome on the TV? To the Alpha Lab. We did. Okay, so we've already seen that. Oh, here's something new. Alan Dorwaller. Dorwaller? No audio logs on file. Okay, security clearance general access. Control respect, administrative complex. Okay, interesting. Um, I suppose. Can I go through here? Director William Banks, science team. Authorized personnel on file. Dude, I literally just picked up his PDA, did I not? Wait a minute, you know what I didn't check? I didn't check his emails. Ethan Peterson, armaments in the cabinet, okay. Alan, per our earlier conversation, I've stocked the storage cabinet in your area with some ammunition security armor, sweet. The door code is 586. I don't know what's going on around here, but we can't be too careful. I hope to stink, we never have to use that stuff. If I hear anything else, I'll email you. Um, I hear that UAC corporate is sending someone up here to check on Betruger. His name is Elliot Swan. 
I don't know who he, oh, the, okay. I don't know who he is, but John said he's a real ball buster. He said that he's always travels with a bodyguard. This can't be a good situation. I hope this swan guy doesn't shut us down. We are so close to solving the stability problems and the transfer errors are exceptionally low now. Keep you posted if anything goes down, Ethan. MartianBuddy.com, Lightspeed Pharmacy. Mr. Dorweiler, Arnline Pharmacy, no doctor visit needed. We believe that ordering medication, is this spam? It is. We believe that ordering medication should be as simple as ordering anything else in the net. We can ship drugs anywhere in the galaxy, embargoes, pan pharmaceuticals, no problem. Go to martianbuddy.com for details. Hold up. Hold up, guys. I got it. Okay, hold up. I'm going to open it in a different browser tab because I don't know what it is and I don't want to potentially get demonetized. But we got to check out what martianbuddy.com is. Oh, hey, it redirects to... Slayersclub.bethesda.net. Check it. MartianBuddy.com. It just comes back to here. That's incredible. That is awesome. Okay. That's cool. All right. Um, personnel. Gain entrance in the Alpha Lab. Just kind of already did that. Okay. And 586 was the code. 586. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, hand grenades. That's new. That's very new. I think that warrants a save, don't you? Absolutely. All right, so we can't go through there, but we can go through here. Oh, you piece of garbage. I hate the imps. I hate those freaking disgusting things so much. Give me some more health. Thank you. All right, let's keep going. Oh, hello. Hey, come back, man. We're not done tussling yet. Where'd he go? I hear him in there. I hear you in there, buddy. Don't think I don't. Hello? Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. <coughs> Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. Who? The things? There's still a few squads operating. But they're all cut off from each other. Try Poor to find fellow. Them. Should I put him out of his misery? That seems like the that seems like the sympathetic thing to do. Probably. You've been a good soldier. Yep. All right. Game saved. It seemed like the kind thing to do. Locate the PDA of William Banks for Alpha Labs clearance. Didn't I just grab that? No, I didn't. Alan Dorwaller was the one I got. Ah. We gotta search some more dead bodies, boys. Alright then. Uh, do I have to hop through that window or some crap like that? Is that what's going on? Well, there's a door right there. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay. Wasn't ideal, but I'll take it. Wait, is this open now? No, it's still closed. Can I open it? Dude. I wonder what I'm missing. I gotta be able to... Maybe... Okay. Oh, come on! That's ridiculous! Well, that took my entire clip of shotgun shells. I'll take that, thank you. Armor shard? Yeah. There are the armor shards I can get at the moment. There's a med kit. Really? You want me to watch this again for like the third time? No thanks, man. I'm good. All right, stupid HR coordinator. That's what I'm gonna say about. You know what's sad? The HR coordinator probably didn't live through this. Oh well, sucks to be him. What's with this little circuit box being open? Oh, come on! That's just unfair. We good? There's a med kit. 
Thank goodness they're kind enough to give me med kits. Oh, crap! Okay, this gun really is not that great. It's a little weak. Oh, well. What's this? Nothing. Uh, okay, wait. What is this? Also nothing. All right, let's keep going. I gotta read the chat. I haven't even read the chat. Oh, don't do BFG edition, don't do it. Oh, I am. I'm absolutely doing BFG edition after we finish this game. Uh, we're gonna do the, we're gonna earn all the achievements, do the multiplayer, etc., etc. So. Uh, nice, is this made by spam time? Oh, nice, the domain still works. It does, doesn't it? All right, I'm gonna go to sleep, by cast it all in chat. Have a good sleep, ATIF. So, good night, ATIF. Mercy, kill him, fair. Yeah, it just, it seemed like the sympathetic thing to do. I'm just saying. Call ended? Who you been talking to, man? Who you been talking to? Oh, hi. I knew that was gonna happen. Heaven forbid I pick up something good without being immediately punished for it. Anything in here? What's new? No. Okay, I gotta, uh, I already saved. I'm good. I don't have to say that often. Oh, maybe I do. Oh. Well, that was easy. Okay, this is a good time to save right before you go through a door. A door. Hey, at least I'm keeping my health together now. Kind of learned the combat a little bit. What's up, man? I swear, if he comes alive right now, I'm gonna lose my crap. Oh, this is gonna suck. Wait! I know where we are! I know where we are, guys! This is the part where they introduce the, the, the pinky. Or as I prefer to call him, the piggy. All right, guys, it's piggy time. Who's ready for the big piggy? Come on, I wanna see some big piggies in the chat. Bruno Bros, welcome. For me, it's obvious that I live in a simulation. <laughs> okay. Uh, shells, nice. Here we go. There he is. There he is, guys. Bro, the pinky in this game looks weird. He does. Oh, man, that's scary. He's gonna come in this door, isn't he? There he is, there he goes. Oh! Shouldn't have done that. Hey, man. Whoa! Well, that wasn't, well, I didn't think he was, I thought I could open the, t ah, okay. Well, I got cornered by that dude. We good? I hope so. Gosh, that was intense. I lost like half my health. Oh, another one. I feel like that's probably not the best weapon to go up against one of those things with. But I really don't know what would be. So, oh well. <laughs> this has been awesome, guys. I've actually really enjoyed Doom 3 so far. Oh! Like I said, it's definitely a little on the generic side. But, for what it is, not been too disappointed. Also done a really good job at making it spooky. Good job, guys. Was that what I needed? Jonathan Moses. That was not the one I needed. Don't get me wrong, still appreciate it. Free stuff. Brought to you by Martian Buddy. Those guys. Who's your buddy? Wow. Okay, we gotta find the code. Who wants to bet it's in Jason Moore's little thing? Oh, man. Anyway, is this the Matrix? Yeah. Stay away from the window, too late. But yeah, Piggy. Everybody was saying Piggy, that's great. Stay away from the window. You almost got finessed. I wake up, I see Cass Gaming. Today is gonna be a good day. Aw, oh, I appreciate that. Cass got baited by a Pinky, how embarrassing. Yeah, that is pretty humiliating. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you guys for 35 likes. At the reception on the Doom 3 series has been incredible. I'm so glad everyone's hyped for it. So, all right, anyway. Uh, we're gonna, so by the way, we've been streaming for two and a half hours. We're gonna go another hour and a half, um, approximately, and we'll have part two coming up here, um, really soon. So, all right. Anyway, gain entrance into the Alpha Land. Oh, we've read that already. Jonathan Moses. No audio logs on file. Okay, asset coordinator. Email. Martian buddy, free stuff. Congratulations, you've been resec- bleh. You've been selected to receive one of our free promotional storage cabinets loaded with useful things that we think you'll need. To access your new storage cabinet, visit us online. Martian buddy, remember, you're always a winner with Martian buddy. Jim Bauer, storage cabinet. Uh, Mr. Moses, we have recently received your storage cabinet from Martian Buddy. Where would you like us to put it? Thank you, Jim Bauer, Shipping Authority. Um, excellent. I can't believe it showed up so soon. Please have someone deliver it to my office in the North Hallway of Administration. Can't wait to see what they've sent me. Thank you for the quick reply. We'll have it delivered to your office at the end of the week. So, I was wrong. There is absolutely no access code whatsoever. 666? Really? That's most certainly not it. Good guess, but no. Uh, you're most welcome for the likes. I appreciate it, man. Oh, boy. There is no code in the game. It is 0508. There... The code isn't in the game? Then how would you supposed to be... How would you supposed to know that? From the game manual or something? 0508. Oh, thanks for the tip, dude. Appreciate it. Chain gun! Let's go! Hey! Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous about this. What, uh... What is... What's the number for this, by the way? I think it's five. Yeah, it's five. Marine, Bravo team hey. reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I mean, oh. It can't be good. Stay sharp. I wish you hadn't said that. That is mostly, that is most certainly bad news. Nice. Choose through ammo kind of fast, but I like it. It isn't working. I tried everything, but computers aren't responding. I hey! What's up, guys? We can't do it here. We have to access the systems. Hello? Alright, Nope. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, let's reload real quick. Trying to get over to this guy. Nice! Man, I wasted so much health dealing with him. Uh, shells, thank you. What the? What the hell? What is this? Downloading PDA William Banks. Well, I got rid of that, and then here's this random imp that showed up. Out of nowhere. Oh, and here's another one. What's with your weird little ritual in here going on, man? Like, pull it together. Oh, I'm at 20% health. That sucks. Should have gotten the chain gun ready for this, huh? Yoshi did say the chain gun was one of the better ones in here. Nice. Oh, come on. You still got me? I think that was most of them. Oh, crap! Please leave me alone. Crap, he's still getting me. All right, I'm literally at one health. Well, that sucks in every way imaginable. Let's try desperately to get back. Oh, they're gone! Oh, come on! I'm gonna have to redo that portion, aren't I? Yeah, probably. Like, see, I got damaged there. And I didn't even get damaged, because I didn't have enough health to get damaged from getting damaged. I feel like I should save. If only just, sure, why not? I'm at one health. Let's see how far we can get.
I mean, why not at this point, right? The hell? I don't like that. How about down here? I haven't been down here yet. Nice. Hi. Oh, wait, we're back here. Wasn't this the beginning of the level? Kind of, yeah. It's amazing what you can do with literally one thing of health, isn't it? I mean, I've been like destroying people with literally one health point. And I can save at any time, because it's like, what else do I have to lose at this point, right? Oh, man. All right, anyway. I know Civi 11, the awesome YouTube guy that reviews classic FPSs and throwback FPSs. I'm familiar with him, yes. Maybe the code is 2124. Why? The only thing the chain gun has 60 rounds in the clip. That's bad. Is it not enough? 38. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I see what you mean now. Whew. Um. Anyway, yes, we do, Champion. I've mentioned him once in the stream already. Yes. Yes, yeah, Sivvy's a cool dude. Yeah, I knew it. I knew there was no way I was going to survive that. Uh, Stink, let's try it again, I guess. I literally just saved. Here, let's take this in here. Lights are going to go off. I feel like I'd gone through this section before. I probably did. What can you do? It's literally... Get named. -named. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. I think if I can get past... I think there's actually a little health thing in that door behind them. So if I can get past these two guys, we could probably get some health. See what I mean? Right here. Boom. Beautiful. See that? 61. 61 health. Oh, and also... Additionally... Wait a minute. Let's grab these guns first. Oh, here we go. There's one behind me, too, right? Yeah. Alright, nice. Oh, we're down to ten bullets on this. So this is great. It just doesn't last very long. Alright, well, either way. Um, we have the PDA now. So... Let's read it real quick. William Banks. Okay. Uh, Administration Director Alpha Labs. Missing personnel energy deficiencies. Okay, then. Oh, man. Anyway. Uh, why do people butcher that so much? It's nay-nayed. A before the E. Ate that word anyways. I, I really don't know. This is great. Just doesn't last long. Yeah. It oh, okay. Okay. I this see what is happened. The audio log wow. of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My well, office well. has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security. And they have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is very disturbing. Yeah, Especially I can see Especially at a why. time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. I hope not. That'd suck. All right, well, uh, probably is, though. Energy <laughs> deficiency. Oh man, Yoshi's like that's what she said. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, good, good job, this Yoshi. This is the audio log of Director William Banks. Here we go. Dated October fifth, twenty one forty five. It has been brought to my attention by Environmental Services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Vitruger and his so-called optimizations to the energy stores in and around the facility. I assured mm. the director of ES that I would file a report with central authority over this. Well, okay then. Is Izzy K says I gotta go. Alright, well it's good to have you here, Izzy. Hope you have a good one. 
Actually, I'm gonna have to do something real quick. Bye. All right, well, you have a good one too, champion. I play TF2, that close enough. I mean, oh, champion asked if you play Quake. TF2 is pretty close to Quake. <laughs> but it's not the same, is it? Malcolm Betruger. Religious artifacts. Director Banks, I need your urgent attention to this matter. It is very important to my research that all crates containing religious artifacts arriving from Earth with a cosign for Delta Labs go directly there with no interruption or delay. I can't have my precious cargo sitting around the hangar waiting for your personnel to process it. I expect your immediate attention on this matter, Dr. Malcolm Betruger. Hmm. Matthew Wyden, missing person. Uh, Director Banks, research assistant Eric Raphael has not reported for work all, all this week. I've called his quarters repeatedly without response. No one has seen his, see, bleh. No one has seen him in days, and I don't know what to do. He's normally a very reliable individual. I've contacted Mars Security with hope that they will try and find him. There aren't a lot of areas to go on this base. Man, I hope he's all right. If I hear anything, I'll send word. Thank you, Matthew White. Uh, UACorp.com. Bet you anything this also goes to the Doom Slayer website. New website. Director Banks, try to report the role of a new corporate website. Please take a moment of your time to review it. UACorp.com. Okay. I'm actually going to check that out, just in case. UACorp. Dot com uacorp.com bethesda.net dashboard starfield gameplay reveal ah totally glad i checked that out all right guys that was that was fun nemesis says is this the reasoning of doom 3 having dark lighting um is what the reasoning because it's well the re i mean the reasoning it has dark lighting is because it's kind of got that spooky atmosphere going for it and everything's been shut down and overrun so, that's the reason. Um, I will say one thing, guys. I like the way that they've put the story exposition and stuff and, like, these little pieces that you collect. It's kind of like how they did in Wolfenstein, Blade of Agony. Nice. All right. I'm sure we're going to have plenty of stuff pop out to attack me at any moment. So, ooh, new PDA. Yep, told you. Told you that would happen. Anyone else? Not yet. So this is where uh, Sergeant Kelly and Investigator What's-His-Name were. Network connection failed, network login, no current user. Okay, well we got a new PDA, so let's at least check that out. Uh, Paul Simons, IT security, wait a minute. Paul Simons, administration, IT specialist, general access, admin, network security status. Recent audio logs. It won't play. That's weird. Uh, let's check out his email. Network breach. Uh, Mr. Simons, we've been unable to find any problems with the network test that we ran on your system. Uh, everything checks out on our end. Your firewall seems to be functioning properly. Other IT managers have reported similar intrusions in their networks. Whoever is doing this must be good or someone with very high level security clearance. We will continue to scan the network. If anything odd appears, we'll inform you immediately. Russell Wilder, email spam. Paul, the email spam lately is getting out of control. The worst company is that Martian buddy place. I can't believe all the things they send me. I don't know how they got my email address. Can you do anything to stop the spam? I spent all morning deleting that junk from my inbox. Wow. That's great. Okay. Have we got anything new? Uh, no. All right. Well, let's continue. Here we go. Uh, or in the worst case, a defective zip file. Yeah, a corrupt one. Can't read because it's been corrupted. That would suck. Hello? Hi. Well, can't go through there. Wasn't that just open a moment ago? Well, I, I, get, I guess. Guess we'll go through here now. Access granted, here we go. Obtain, objective complete, obtain security clearance. This seems like a part where you'd want to save. Eh, sure. Something about it, you know what I mean? Quick text administration. Oh, it's the end of the level. Oh, I'm so dumb. Alpha Lab Sector 1 houses the elemental phase deconstructor. 
Blah blah blah. No one cares. Green. Needs mammo. Proceed to report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. Can't wait for it. Reaching the man, he is always rushing me. Imperative. All right, I'm trying, man. Give me a break. Uh, can I open the door? Yeah, there we go. Probably should have saved first, but who gives a stink, really? Alpha access elevator. Find the personal elevator that leads to Alpha Labs level two. Will do, thank you for the goods. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, see, I've been expecting that to happen the whole game. The dead guys to get up and walk around. Okay, there's just the uh, two of them, I think. Oh, make that three. The creepy part is having to look in their uh, stupid red glowing eyes. That's the creepy part. Okay. I think we're the only ones here now. Makes me feel a little better. Let's reload this real quick. Oh, my mother would have a heart attack in playing this game. Oh, that's funny. All right, let's save real quick and we'll continue. There's some armor that I don't need. There's some bullets that I do need. Here's some health I could use, thank you. What's on this computer? Unlock doors, primary lights on. Okay. Uh, let's save. Well, I literally just saved. Yeah. Come on, Cass, don't be a, don't be a B word. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Good. Please follow UAC <laughs> procedures. Yeah, yeah, we know. Nice, blew his freaking head off. Let's go. Woo! Use the way back machines, as Miss Drop Sweet. Oh, to see what it looked like back in the day. That's not a bad idea. In the Doom 3 VR mod, I changed the clip size from the chain gun from 60 to 250 rounds. That's better. Yeah, I bet that's better. So I just read that Bethesda has changed the way Doom and Quake are listed on Steam. Nothing's gone. More games have been consolidated in single purchase. Yoshi, I actually made a video on that earlier today. And it's coming out as soon as it's done being edited. Looks like the news is spreading. Anyway, a hole rip further open and air will blow out at high speed. I do have every Quake game that isn't Quake 4 though. I have every Doom game that isn't Doom Eternal. So I totally know what you're talking about. Okay, uh, this way. <laughs> ah, 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 crap, crap. Okay, well, really glad I saved now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I don't even freaking have bullets for this gun, basically. Really, nothing? Okay. Man. We good? Yeah. I'm gonna go back in here and get some more health. That was not great. Where's the health thing? Oh, here it is. Yeah, that was, that was a wee bit on the rough side. Thank goodness for that though, right? Oh, here comes another one. Hey, buddy. Oh! Will you quit sneaking up behind me, idiot? My gracious. Can I like, reload this thing anytime? No. Dude. Oh, why would you play the music just now? Why would you do that? I soiled my pants. I'm about to. Hi. Well, that, that, that was fun. I, I sure enjoy that. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay, at least I have this gun. Got two bullets left in this one. There we go, that changes that. Is there anyone else? What is this doing? This looks like Stranger Things. Are they trying to drill a door into a different dimension? Bro, I know what Stranger Things looks like. That's Stranger Things. 
And this door is opening up here. Ow! Apparently that can get Joe electrocuted. Guess we're going in here now. Oh, hi, man. Boom! Get destroyed! Alright, we got him. Uh... Can I shut this thing down? Hey, shut up, man. We don't care. This thing. See, I, I still don't even know what that's doing. Danger high voltage. Is it mining? Is that mining equipment? Oh, check it. Alpha Labs restricted access. Hey, we're gonna have to find the code for that. Now what am I getting hurt by? The hell? What was that? I don't know. I know what that is, though. An unhappy imp. Woo! Well, there goes most of my health because of that whole weird little interaction, but here's some health right here. Minister treatment. Thank goodness for that. All right, guys, so we're good for the moment, I think. Uh, we don't have much ammo, but other than that, yeah. It's like the only gun, basically, that still has ammo is just this one. Uh... Video disc and a PDA. Okay, that's probably gonna get us, make us be able to open this little storage closet, which will give us some more ammo. Ooh. All right, I gotta read the chat. Um. Anyway, cash your SD card. SD card. <sighs> oh man, <clears throat> too bad your joke is lost on me. I don't think I've ever eaten Quaker anything really. Never eaten Quaker like Quaker oats. Oh. Okay then. Quake 4 wasn't bad, was it not? That's good. You have to walk in the tunnel that the laser fire fires into, but only if it's not firing. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me, Nemesis. I didn't realize that. Rotten, welcome to the stream. He says, I constantly forget grenades exist in this game. Always stockpiled, never used. You know what, dude? I picked up grenades earlier, have yet to use them. I don't even know what the key is for it. I'm assuming it's G or something like that. Um, but yeah. Anyway, it's just a reactor. Please do. Way out of the solar system is your nearest left. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to eat today. It's my nan's birthday. Have an amazing day, everyone. Oh, nice, man. Happy birthday to your nan. Have a good one, man. Thanks for tuning in the stream. Doom, uh, let's see. Eternal is very hard. Sometimes I have a big rage at this game, but yeah, very nice and great story. Cool. Nico Zenos, welcome, man. Good to see you. Yo, Cast, no time to watch, but I hope you're having a good, a good time. I am, buddy. Thank you. And, uh, hope to see you again next time, when you have more time. So have a good one, dude. There's a switch behind the door on the right. A switch behind the door on the right. You talking about this door, man? Well, it's a little, little, I'll have to give it a second, I guess. There you go. Yeah, uh, we'll come, we'll come back to that. Let me read this PDA first. Oh, video disc, we gotta watch the new video disc. Elemental phase deconstructor. Oh, this should be fun. For Information on the EPD system. Has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures okay. on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and mm. even air. So that's what they're doing. UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mm. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our... Testing, testing. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. We had uh, some disconnect issues again. So, since we're having so many internet issues today, we're probably going to cut the stream off a little bit short. Instead of going for like four hours, we'll probably go for like three or something. Uh, so, what I'm going to try to do is, assuming it's stable enough for us to finish, I'm going to try my best to complete this level. Um, and we will end episode one after that. And when we pick back up next time on episode two, uh, we'll go for a little bit longer conditions providing. Uh, once I finish the stream, I am going to get on the phone with my internet service provider and get them to send someone out again because clearly they didn't fix the issue last time. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm gonna restart this little video clip that we're at. Yeah, man. Uh, can we restart this? Cause I, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, that's great, buddy. Shut the hell up for a second. There we go. All right, we're gonna start over again. Thank you, Kess Gaming, and you're most welcome for joining. You have a good run of Doom Three. To no, to no more internet issues. Ah, oh, you jinxed it, man. Look, I cheered. I'm sorry. Hey, even Nemesis said you jinxed it. Oh, come on. Looks like the end of the stream. Now, nah, we'll finish the level first, and then we'll end it. So, hey, it was still a good part one. We went for, like, three hours. So, you know, internet issues notwithstanding. All right. So, yeah, let's go ahead and finish uh, watching this. We'll check out this new PDA, and uh, we'll continue. No problem, Cash. It's not your fault that's happened. I know. It's a, it's a bummer, though, and it's real aggravating. Um, like when you're trying to make stuff, and the internet's just not cooperating. But, you know, we'll just call them up, and uh, we'll get them back out here. All right, let's continue. For Elemental phase deconstructor. Humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural So resources are dwindling, Our UACs mining Mars like to get stuff, and there's iron. That's where the that's where the stream died. Petrochemicals, food, yeah, have a good one, champion. Thanks for being here, buddy. Even air. To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Nice. Atom atom. I don't think you're gonna pull it off, but props for trying. For now see, imagine if they'd been successful. How awesome could that have been? But nope. Too much freaking corruption. And other assorted issues. Oh, Kanda, welcome to the stream. It's Poggers. Let's go. Let's do it. Alright. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Wow, 40 likes! Hey! Thank you guys for 40. That is so many likes. Too much science for a game like Doom. Oh, you don't care for it? I kind of really enjoyed all the additional exposition, but that's, that's just me. I like the story. 4,000 degrees. Water, Kelvin and water. What the hell are you talking about, Brodel Bros? 4,000 degrees, Kelvin and water damage because the first part came out in 2007. Dude, what are you talking about? Okay. We're going to move past that. Kyle Berger... Um, Alpha Lab Sector 1, Research Supervisor, General Access, EPD Incident. Put a log for Kyle Berger, Research Supervisor for the EPD Project. Uh, the, uh, the Elemental Phase Deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Nice. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research Assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber. And witnesses say he appeared to see something. It was almost like uh, something was talking to him. And uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took Ooh. the back side of his head. Yeah. It a few minutes, although I'm not sure you can consider that living. But they say his uh. eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk. Although, after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was his reflex actions. Anyway. That's terrible. I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab. I and bet. stock one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. Nice. The code for the cabinet is 752. Nice. Anyway. 752. All right, so 752 is the code for the cabinet. Email. William Wando, EPD status. Um, Dr. Berger, everything is going exceptionally well as we prepare the EPD for his next round of tests. Roy Patterson is setting up the baseline now, and we should be able to start testing later this afternoon. If your schedule allows, please feel free to join us down here in the lab around 2. Should be exciting. Bill Wando. UAC maintenance, EPD collection chamber status. The maintenance team has just finished cleaning the EPD collection chamber. All biomatter has been scrubbed from the area. 
Deep Scan also confirms a clean sector as per your request. 14 collection cones and 5 trays have also been replaced. Please be sure to stop by maintenance as we will need your signature for the parts requisition forms. Thank you, UAC Maintenance. Alright guys, um... Let's, uh... Go ahead and check out this cabinet now, I guess. Uh, it's over here. 572. 752. There you go. Perfect, thank you. All right, and we have this if we need another three, and that if we need another med kit at some point. <laughs> While this is still accessible. All right, anyway. Open repair access gate. Access while EPD is running can be fatal. Oh. Wait, what the hell? Oh, what's good, man? Nice, we got him. Oh. Apparently not in time. Uh, do I have to re-hit this? Do I have to disable this again? Or do I have time? EPD beam is still active. Proceed with caution. Access while EPD running can be fatal. Oh, so it's open, but I need to wait till it's... Okay. So we need to wait till it's finished, it's round, and then we need to dash in there. Here we go. Maybe, maybe stay low. Open this little sink, open this little hatch. Oh, I can just stay crouched and be okay. Conduit access. Nice. All right, yeah, we're good. Oh, hi! Well, that's not very convenient, is it? Wow. Okay, uh... We don't have any ammo for this still, do we? I'm like totally relying on this machine gun, guys. Oh, hi, man. Oh, crap. Hey, what if I just hit him with the flashlight? Oh, I guess that works. I guess technically that works fine. Flashlight could work. You just have to hit someone a good few times. Uh, can I go in here? I can. Do I want to, though, without first checking out what's over this way? Oh, well. I checked out, it's nothing. <laughs> uh, we came in from there, there's the machine. So yeah, this is the the maintenance tunnel then, okay. Hey, Mr. Ramp, how are you, buddy? So I feel like I'm starting to get a hang of the combat, haven't done it in a little bit. At least, you know, a little bit, a decent amount. Nice, all right. <laughs> Who is that, is that the scientist? Hello? Maybe it's the devil himself. Well, that doesn't sound good. Oh, -ho! it's cause it's not. Well, that's creepy as hell. Will you, will you go ahead and die already, dude? Thank you. Makes my life so much easier. Hey, buddy. Is there another one? Yeah. Can I see him with the flashlight? Boop. 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 Just gonna hit him on the head. Boop. Just gonna boop him to death. Eh. Three hits. Knocked him out cold. Boom. Oh, and then, then he now he's just dissolved. Just just hit him with the flashlight a couple of times. We'll just break him to pieces. What a weird mechanic. Okay, hand grenades. Shotgun shells. Wasn't really worth it. Oh, I got four of them. Never mind. It totally was. I mean, I see what people mean now when they said, like, the flashlight operating along in... in bleh. The flashlight taking the place of the weapon, even though it doesn't make logical sense. I do understand what people meant when they said the game was designed around that mechanic. Because it's true. There really is something to be said for... Oh! Dude, this is freaking creepy.
Dude, is that all of them? Please be all of them. I can't freaking take much more. Ah! That can't be a good sign. As soon as I hit this, the thing's gonna open and they're gonna destroy my face, aren't they? Probably. All right, I'm gonna save on the stupid HR coordinator again. Whew. Okay, this looks like dead space, but in first person. You know what, Okanda? You are not the first one to say that today. A lot of people thought so. Come on, Kess, read the chat. I, I did. You, you, you said a thing, and I read it. Okay, seal breached pipe section. Fire detected in pipe sec sector 76. Gas leak president sector 76. So, it's talking about, like, right... Well, not, I'm right there. Where are them? Oh, hi, man. Can't even have a face, dude. Can't even have a freaking head. It's just a body. And now it's a dead one. Okay, so that was the last enemy. Where's the gas leak at that I almost walked into and slightly damaged myself with? Got a mid kit. That's nice. Um, What can I do? Gas Ceiling breach. Pipe leak, fire extinguished. Awesome. Resuming gas pipe safety thing. Okay. Scanning. Scanning. So far, so good. Is it just scanning in perpetuity? Can I go now? I think I can, yeah. Cash, you must better investigate the computer panel. Sometimes you can open secret areas. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, clearly that one area is accessible now, that's for sure. Just not sure where it was. I'll have to backtrack a moment. I don't like my walking. It's hard to distinguish from everybody else's walking. Oh, over here. This area is now accessible. Okay, now is a good time to save again. We're like, what, 80 health? Yeah. Around there. Game saved. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I did literally just save it. Hey, man, what's good? Should have reloaded this first. Thank goodness they gave me plenty of ammo for it, at least. Oh, come on! That is so not fair. Yeah, die, you disgusting creature. Nice. No, there's another one. Nice. Or not. Wow, are you ever gonna die? I'll tell you what. Amazing, we burned through all that ammo awful fast, didn't we? There's a mid kit at least, thank goodness. Okay, so anything else? No, computer terminal, computer terminal. I'm checking the terminals, just like you told me. All right, let's save one more time. We need to check down here, grab all these goodies. Oh, hi, man, what's good? Yeah, I thought, I thought so. That's about what I thought. It's about what I expected. Oh no, we got a bot in the chat, kill it. Kill it. I'll oh, kill it, here, hold on. Grape Legend says, you might like this game when you're sent to hell the most. Ah, okay, good to know. So far it seems pretty good, even just from this little starting point. Oh man, bots. Play the music, welcome. Try a grenade on the Z sec or the imp. Okay, I'll do that. I'm assuming grenade is uh, G, right? Grenades. Weapons, it's six. Okay, you just switch to it, like anything else. Okay, and you just throw it. Sounds good. Uh, once again, though, not much in the ways of ammo. Now nah, we're fine on this. We're always fine on that. Did I save? I don't remember. I'm gonna do it again just in case. I saved literally just a second ago. I can tell by the t counter there. Oh, fu okay. What the hell is that thing? That is horrifying! Oh my gosh! Oh, well, they're incredibly weak. I'll give them that. Of course, there's a lot of them, so that's probably for the better. Ow, get off of me.
Oh, is he not dead? Oh, he is dead. Okay. It's on fire. Are you still... Yeah, he's dead now. What the hell? I don't understand anything. Well, we got rid of him, whatever it was. Oh, is there anything down here? Not really. Oh, no. Why? Why, though? What, what's the purpose? Am I supposed to go down in, oh, I am supposed to go down here. Oh, that's the purpose, I, I get it now. I get it, okay. Well, I'm gonna keep this out. Hi. Oh, you disgusting little nightmare. Well, I'm sure we're gonna run into him momentarily. Let's just hope it's not while in here. Well, we got over here and we got up there. Armor shard, cool. And some shells. Okay. Yeah, uh, well. Now there's more enemies, that's for sure. Whoop! Boop! Oh wow, he didn't die. Good job, man, it's staying alive. Good work. Don't snipe with a shotgun, I'll try. Rotten says awesome cutscene. Yeah, that was, that was really something. Oh, nice. Got some goodies back there. Okay, what's through here? Nice. Take care of him. I know there's more, I can hear him. Well, I said that, but maybe I was wrong. What the hell? Oh, crap! Hello? Yep, there they are. Why is my heart beating so fast? Oh, probably all the drugs. Okay, did I pick something up? I think I picked up a PDA related thing. ID mismet, what? No, it doesn't say that, okay. It was blinking at me, so I thought maybe I had, but no. We're good. Got a med kit, awesome. Let's save again. Okay, I think we're good. Let's keep going. Here's another computer. Power outage, battery reserve on, back up your files. Backing up files. Backup complete. Shutting down. Okay. Scanning data, visual data scan, tracking access file scan. Okay, it's just doing computer things. Uh, I'm afraid of some garbage like that. Whoop! Anyone else? Oh, I thought so. I had a feeling he might not be the only one. Just a feeling. Let's try going up here. Okay, why do the... Why do the steps keep falling apart? What's the point of that? Should I save again? I feel like this would be a good saving time, yeah. Why, why the hell not? Let's do it. Oh, no! Oh, I am gonna hate this. Well, I'm good now. Whatever they're trying to do to me, it's not working out for them very well. Unless that's just my way of warning myself before an attack is imminent. Like, their presence is just like, hey, I'm here to haunt you, ooh -hoo what their deal is. Okay, let's go through here. You guys are right about the dead space stuff, though. I'm definitely seeing it! Ah! Oh, and there's another one of those gross things. Okay. 
You guys hear that behind that door? There's a video disc. Yeep. Should I open that door or open that one first? I don't know. Can I open this one? Maybe. Uh, real quick though, let's scan, let's see this video disc. We got a moment. Hydrocon, information on the Hydrocon system. Let's do it. Oh, it doesn't play, look. Safer worlds oh, for everyone. that's weird. For if you hover it over it, it plays. Over two things vital to human existence, fuel and water. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone, the UAC recently unveiled its development of the Hydrocon. Merrick Slovak, welcome, man. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, the Hydrocon okay, produces oxygen and hydrogen cheaply and safely, without the need for large amounts of electricity. The hydrogen is then used for hydrogen. Oh, never mind. We're a good. A substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engines. A side nice. benefit of producing this fuel is an Hydrocon. endless supply of pure, spring-like water that is more refined than any earthbound spring. We envision a world where technologies such as the hydrocarb can be used to end drought and civil strife in impoverished nations where water or fuel have ever been in short supply. While always at the forefront of scientific research and development, Union Aerospace hopes that the creation of the Hydrocon will continue to make safer worlds for everyone. Huh. Okay then. America says, I'm here. How far into this are we? Uh, about, about as far as you could get in three hours, I suppose. Well, maybe not that far, but... Um, we've been at it for a minute, Merrick. How you doing, man? Hope you're having a good one. We're, uh, what level are we on, actually? Well, let's see. Our, our objective is to get to Alpha Labs level two. So we're on, like, what, level three or four? Invalid security clearance. Authorized personnel file, P. Harvey or B. Lipsids. Lipsids? What kind of a name is Lipsids? Oh, I've come through here. Yeah, I've come through here. Okay. This is where we haven't been. Oh, here's the headless guy. Whoop. He's easy to kill. He doesn't have a head. Oh, hi, man. What's good? Nice. I'm not even afraid of him anymore. He's just not that creepy. He's just not anywhere near as creepy as you think you are. Well, I mean, this is, but you're not. <laughs> Um, system offline, okay. Well, can I, well, I can't go in there. Mm. Oh no, let's go back this way. Open security hatch? Oh! That, uh... That must have been what Steve was talking about when he said missing secrets. This looks different than when I came through here. Here's a question I have. The, uh, the busted part in the stairs. What happens if I fall through it? I die. Okay. Well, really glad I saved before testing that out. Surge says 18 years, I guess. How old is this game? 20 years, maybe? Uh, 18 years, because, yeah, 2004. Well, I came through here, obviously, but... I guess we're going back now. Med kit, thank you. Um... Huh. I'm just a little unsure where to go from here, because obviously we need PDAs and security clearance, but like how far do we... How far exactly are we supposed to be backtracking, you know what I mean? Am I even doing this right? Maybe. 
So far, I've yet to receive any indicator. Well, there is down this way. We never did go the other direction, did we? There were two different areas we could go to. This way, or this way. And I'm guessing over here is where we're gonna find more PDAs. Oh, or not, this didn't go anywhere. Oh man, that was my last guess. Okay, let's uh, let's go back to where we just were. Maybe I missed something. K play Doc, welcome. Ah, uh, Doom Three. Yep. Good old Doom Three. It has been a time and a half too. Doom Three is like, it's really something. Oh boy. I like it though so far. What I've played of it. But it's, it's definitely different than Doom. Doing good, got free day from job tomorrow, congrats. So I'm gonna see my dad for the weekend, nice. I'm watching on phone, can't compare to PC, right? For real. Well, it's good to see you, Merrick. Hope you're enjoying your uh, visit with your family. Go back up, says Nemesis, okay. Back up, we will do. Uh, in the room with the head, with the, in the room with the head list was the imp. There's a ladder to climb up. Ah, I knew I was missing something. Thank you guys for letting me know. Yeah, I was trying to uh, backtrack and find it, but Corey, I missed it. Okay, so we were supposed to. Oh, you know what else is bad? Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I figured it out. All good. Shells, let's go. All right, let's. Well, this bad boy up, son. About down in there. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. So yeah, I missed a ladder, huh? Ah, there it is. That makes sense. Now would be a time to save again. Red button opens the screen at the same room. Oh, okay. I remember when this came out, really? It's divisive, but I like it. It plays great in VR. Yeah, people told me that, and that was a really good Made for a good, scary VR game. Oh, start me. oh, you startled me, buddy. I see you. I thought I was all alone. It's been freaking spooky, baby. I just got blown a few circuits and was unstable. Be careful of that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. Why are you still talking to me? I'm dead. What the hell was that? He was just standing there having a casual conversation. Boom! And he just keeps on going. It's like, oh, you know, he, he was the closest thing I had to company. He's a corpse. What difference does it make, really? Well, what the hell? I'm so glad I saved. See, that is why I saved. Because of crazy crap just like that. <laughs> There's a ladder in the monster closet. Yeah, you guys are right. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Let's try that one more time, shall we? I don't even know what the hell happened there. Okay. Oh, stop me. Must man, be the I door. Just stand you. over here, I man. I was all alone. It's been freaking spooky. The hydro got blown a few circuits and was unstable. Yeah, yeah, I noticed. A straight bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't freaking know, guys. I'm gonna get the hydro acceptable levels it could blow yeah maybe he does maybe he does now it just doesn't matter to him maybe not down on PA Bernie Lippets nice we can leave now unable to establish connection with primary interface communication error huh okay let's check out this new PDA real quick Bernie Whippet Whit Whippets Whippets whatever um, no audio logs on file user email John McDermott, time off. Hey, Burn, some of the boys in our head over to Mars City tonight after the shift for some beers. You, as always, are welcome to come along with us, buddy. I will see you there. Nice. Well, I mean, he didn't make it. Now I feel, now I feel bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, Frederick Anubis Hydrocon O2 Week. Whips it. A siphon hose in the oxygen displacement valve is forming a leak due to the lower temperatures 
required to boost production in the Hydrocon labs. If this hose were to rupture, it would cause severe instability in the Hydrocon systems and could result in a very dangerous situation. It should really be replaced. Dr. Anubis. Okay then. Well, um, I guess we, well, I guess nothing. Uh-oh. Well, here, let's grab some, well, I don't need any of that. Oh, that's nice. It's nice to have health and armor available and you don't really need it. Like, it's almost comforting, right? Like, you're just, you're just that good. Oh! Oh, how convenient! It brought us right back exactly where we needed to go. Awesome. Of course, the problem is I heard people back here. Yeah, I had a feeling. Nice. Whoa! Nice. All right, we got him. Is there a health dispenser or anything back here? No. No nothing? Okay. Oh, that's fine. Oh! Oh, crap! Not this garbage. Nice. Oh, it's that's not dead? You know, not only is it creepy... But it can move so freaking fast. Is there another one? What else could I possibly be hearing? Oh, that. Yeah, that would do it. Ha <laughs> ha! Get nay-nayed, son. Oh yeah, Yoshi hates that term. Oh, well, he's not here here to whine about it, so. Um, okay. Anyway, grab... Ooh, health dispenser! I wanted one of those. Thanks, man. It's funny how they have varying amounts of supplies left in them. Like, some are nearly full, some are like halfway empty like this one. We're getting closer to Doom 2016. Can't wait, but love the fact we are on new Doom game. I know, right, Merrick? Yeah, I'm excited for it, too. Peep, oh, wow! There's the stairs for earlier. Feels like forever ago. I was just saying, it's cool how hype people have uh, been getting for me playing a new Doom game. But, you know, it makes sense. I've been looking forward to playing, like, um, something new. You know what I mean? Like, Regardless of how much I love classic Doom, variety's been appreciated. Oh, we've watched that already. That's just the same thing as from earlier. Oh, nice shot, guess. Okay. Well. Okay, I think I chose, like, the dumbest possible way to do that. Yeah, that wasn't very smart either. Uh, I need another med kit. Oh, shut up. Wow, okay. Well, that query wasn't the best place to hang out. Anything else? Can I have my health kit now? Air. Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Well, I did not do that very intelligently. Oh, here's some armor at least. Security armor, whoopee. Level one. Oh, uh, is that the end? Dude. Let me reload for my save. I did that so poorly. I'd like to go out on a higher note than that. <laughs> uh, in the BFG edition, I think all health panels are full. Ah, okay. That, that would explain what people meant then when they were complaining about like, health being too to uh, being too easy. You know what I mean? So there's those guys. So we can just loop back around and get them, can't we? Oh, I guess not. Because that door's wired shut now. And here I am still having trouble. And there come these guys. Oh, that worked out. Nice! That worked out great! All right, let's go. I guess we can go back here and get more health now, can't we? Nice! GG, guys. That actually worked out really well that time. Okay, and we have more than enough health. Perfect. Thank you. And this just takes you to here? Restricted access. Alpha red. Huh. 
I wonder if there's like some way to get in there that's like normally a secret or something. That'd be kind of cool. All right, well, uh, I guess we're done. We can go ahead and exit, be on our way. GG. Oh, let's grab some armor while we're at it. Is there anything over on this side? Like health or, no. Alrighty then, guys, well, GG. Objective complete, Alpha Access Elevator. Quick to exit Alpha Labs. All right, guys, and there we go. Alpha Labs Sector 2 is gonna be our next level, which is where we're gonna be picking up next time when we come back with episode two. All right, here we go. Let me make a new little save. Stupid HR coordinator. All righty, and there we go. All right, guys, well, that is gonna be it, like I said, for episode one of Doom 3, A Rise to the Top series. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you to Diarte Faria for subscribing. And yeah, thanks for tuning the stream, guys. I really appreciate y'all being here. Thank you for 42 likes. Um, that's pretty incredible, I can't lie. Like Merrick said, I think a lot of people are excited that I'm now doing a newer Doom game, which I am definitely one of them. Even though Doom 3 isn't like the most popular one in the series, it's still definitely kind of cool to be doing something new. And at first it was like really hard, but I feel like as I've gone on and played it more during the stream, I've gotten a little bit better at handling the combat, so now it doesn't quite feel too, too tough, but still like a nice, fair challenge. You know what I mean? So, pretty good so far. I've been enjoying the um, the story, the exposition. Um, I could see some people, if they don't care for story and stuff in Doom games, which most Doom games don't have it, so I could see it attracting that kind of people. I could see like where you would look at this and see it as like padding out the gameplay or weighing it down or whatever. Personally, I kind of liked it, but that's probably just more me. Um, the gameplay was fine. It was fun to shoot things. Duh. Um, some of them were kind of tough, but all around, I'd say we did pretty well for the first time. But yeah, guys, when we come back next time, uh, we will be picking up right where we left off with episode two. I will get a watch page up as soon as I have a time nailed down. And then, of course, as far as Classic Doom is concerned, we still have several mods and stuff that I'm going to be playing and doing here in the future. So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff coming. Regardless, thank you all very much for tuning in to today's stream. I hope you all enjoyed it. And, yeah, that's all for me for now. All right. Uh, yeah, it also has extra ammo. Yeah, BFG Edition has extra ammo and health to the point where people think it was like, oh, this is just too easy. Like, the first one had plenty. What, what's, what are you doing with all this? And then, you know, there's the flashlight and that whole debate and so on and so forth. After the stream, I want to play Doom 3. Do it, man. Do it. Thanks for the nice stream, Kess. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Nice stream. Among Us. Yeah, I got to stream that again, too, because I have achievements now. <laughs> Merrick says, I could be here only so much. Good night, everyone. You have a great one, Merrick. Thanks for being here, man. Forgot to talk. Epic stream. No problem, dude. Thank you for being here, whether you talk or not. All right, guys. Till next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming, and I will see you all at the top.